So with that said, let's get started with Shadow Shadow Cross with Assassin. So first off, you know you got a booster character. You're gonna start in a random location in Prontera. And I guess we started here next to this. Oh, oh that that's a very different colored uh four. Anyways, so you're gonna start out with a booster box with a booster pack. You're gonna click your booster pack, you're gonna open it up. Now you can either click your magnifier to identify your items, or you can hold control and right click. Very nice. All right. So then you also have uh, starter armor crates. So go ahead and identify all the good stuff. This is really good equipment. You get 20 hits right off the bat with this combo. It's really, really good. So first up, we're going to be heading on over to also uh, pick up a metal weapon. When you open up the booster pack, you get a uh, first job. You get a metal weapon ticket. This metal weapon ticket is going to give you a, a metal weapon that you're going to be using for leveling. Now you have various choices, but I would like for you to play it smart and do not get the, the dagger. I know you may be tempted to, but do not pick up the dagger. Get the Qatar. The metal Qatar is going to be your friend here. It's going to be the best weapon you can pick up. You can't use it right now, but you'll be able to use it once you become an assassin. And that's when it's going to be really, really good. So we're going to go with that. And then you're going to be picking up all the junk you find along the way because Quite frankly, you could use any weapon at this point since you have no weapons. Now, up next, we're going to be going to the little huts. We're going to be joining one of those uh, guild clans. Uh, you know, you have the option to select uh, one strength, one vitality, one intelligence, one dexterity, one intelligence, one luck, or one agility, one dexterity. For the sake of what we're doing, we're going to be joining the, uh, the crossbow clan because we would like the extra agility and the dexterity for the hits. We're going to join. You could also grab the vitality and the strength if you'd like. It's, there's no really wrong choice here. So, no, Grimtooth does not crits, and I'm not gonna. I don't. Not, I'm not gonna be investing too much into the Lux stat either way. So, and also like the uh, agility dexterity for early on when trying to uh, hit an attack. You also get 30 max HP and 10 SP. Keep in mind that without the booster sets, without the freebies, you actually have uh, 70, 21 uh, HP to SP. This gets you 30. You originally start with only 40 HP. So just for a little, you know, little food for thought, this gives you 520 HP. You end up with 480 more HP than you normally would. So. So enjoy that. Up next, we're going to go pick up the freebies. You guys know that there's freebies to be picked up. If you don't know, then now you know. So you're going to be heading on over to his loot and you're going to be punching things along the way. So what I would like for you to do is just to go over. And start punching things. Plain and simple. Nothing too complicated. Just go over and punch things. But you're going to be punching your way to his loot. So make sure to put some points if you think you might need it. I don't know. You'll probably need it later on, but... Put some points into dexterity, put some points into agility, put some points into strength, that's nine, or whatever we could put. And one more thing, there's also a steam ring box. This thing you can trade as it is, but if you open it up, you can no longer trade it. This will give you more EXP for the monster that you kill. 101% minus one per level, per base level. You can use your concentration potion and start punching your way through. And look at you, you now have a dagger. It's not going to be a very good knife. It's not going to be a very good weapon, but we'll make do with that for the time being. Because once you become a thief, you cannot use the uh, novice uh, main gulch that you get at the uh, academy. So, you know, make do with what you got. So enjoy it while you have it because... You can always upgrade to a, to a better weapon though, so don't worry. Now, I know usually I do this quest at level 100 for characters that need uh, equipment to do, you know, critical, I mean, to get a fixed casting reduction. We're not going to be doing that for this character, but if you want to know what to do for um, clearing the Biju uh, episode, the uh, episode content 16.1 and the Biju fight, you know, I'll show you the link. I think I'm going to go ahead and also go to the Criteria Academy and punch my way through. But 
punch not punch but you know cut those little uh pourings yeah i don't think it sounds any better the way i'm saying it so i, I want you to go all the way up north to this location up to the top walk or teleport or do whatever you want just go up there and you're gonna have to follow instructions as i'm saying them you have to talk to the reason well we'll get to it when we get there So when you come in here, first things first, you talk to the receptionist, you register for the academy, and then you have a bunch of stories that, I mean, you can probably just throw, the, throw this away. You can keep the knife if you want to use it for just a few levels. Keep the, the academy hat, it's worth it, because you're not going to be wearing a hat for a very long time. You talk to the Eden teleport officer. And now we're going to be heading on over to the desk over here and we're going to talk to secretary lime Evanor. we're going to join the eating group and we're going to be getting some freebies you're going to be getting two old battle manuals you're going to be getting uh 15 level 10 blessing 15 level 10 increase agility scrolls five yellow butterfly wings and then you want to join the eating group right whatever blah 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 and you're going to be getting an eating group mark this thing functions like a butterfly wing every 30 minutes so it'll be easy for you to go back and forth every 30 minutes should you forget your butterfly wings or you're stuck somewhere. Great. Now, you're going to be going up north real quick. And you're going to be making a left turn over here. If you didn't finish leveling at the Islud, you know, field, that's fine. Well, Frontier Field 08, that's the name of the field. You can always go over here and talk to the Adept Adventurer. And you can just go ahead go ahead and just punch this uh little well not punch but stab just stab and pick up all the loot you might need it because uh honestly we don't have a metal weapon for our thief but it'll be worth just picking stuff up just to have uh, additional red herbs as people do buy red herbs for a very cheap price but what matters is that you have uh some pocket change you don't have to have the best dagger but it'll have to just have a uh, better dagger eventually because you're going to be just using dagger for leveling early on and you know once you reach assassin you probably won't even use it so so let's go ahead and talk to the npcs they're going to give us some exp when we finish talking to them so just uh go ahead and talk to the friendly pouring Ask you to go and tame a little pouring. Also, if you happen to have a uh, one of these uh, little pouring pets, wow, this is the first time I feel it's four. If you have the little pouring uh, pets, you can use it to clear the um, something later on at level one hundred with ease. So just keep it just keep it in their storage. Do you think you might actually do the quest? So, you know, it's all good. So now you talk to the NPC, blah, 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 blah. You can ask any questions related to pet taming and all that stuff. And conversation, you talk to this guy. You get some job and base XP. Now go back and finish your job level, get to job level 10. And then you're going to be going back to Prontera. There we go, job level 10. Now job levels, you're going to be using to increase your skill points. Every job level you get, you get a skill point. Space skills level 9. And we're going to be using the Eden group mark because it functions like a butterfly wing. So double click it. And the last place you save that technically was Frontera because that's where you started the game. Now we're going to be going all the way up to the manager NPC who's going to change our job. And yeah.
<laughs> I was looking at my phone while I was going upwards. But yeah, so... Now you reach the manager NPC, we're, we're going to go ahead and do a job change. So you're going to be given a first job change ticket when you open up the first booster pack. And now you're going to talk to manager. I have a proposal for you. Blah, 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 blah. Yes. Prerequisites. And today we're making assassins. So we're going to be changing jobs. Yes. So select. Be careful with it. Remember, whatever you choose, you're going to be changed into. So be sure to select your choice. We're going to go thief. Thief into assassin. Change my class. And there we go. Now you can no longer use the novice main gosh, however you pronounce that, so you can throw it away, but you can use the rest of the stuff that you have. So now we're going to be going south real quick. We're going to go talk to a shopping board because there's people that buy red herbs. And then from here, we're going to be going to our next level location. So let's say shopping board uh, buy because you're looking for the buy shops, red herb search. No one is buying red herbs here in town. Wow, that's just wonderful. All right. At the very least, you can sell the uh, pet incubator that you were given. Yeah, I know it sounds kind of messed up, but, you know, what am I going to do about it? At least keep the egg and the, and the apple juice. You actually kind of do need those. So we're going to sell this and this. We get nothing for that, so it's fine. It's whatever. All right, 1,831. So we're going to be going to the, uh, we're going to be going to pay on pay on is a very good leveling spot early on. So we're going to be going on over to pay on Hey silver. How are you doing? And sometimes people do buy red herbs here. So let's go check the, uh, buy shops shopping board. There's, you can see the two shops, but there's usually someone else hiding somewhere. So red herb, search partial. Well, you don't have to search partial is the full word. 500 Danny. Wow. Wonderful. Good. 4,500. Okay. So I think you can buy one of like the cheaper daggers, one of the easier ones, you know, newbie ones. So might as well go ahead and just pick it up. Main goal should take you a uh, you know, good way. So you go talk to the weapon merchants. Main goal is just like 43 attack versus the 40, 17. So that's, you know, a nice upgrade. So you can just go ahead and NPC your knife. You're not going to use that knife. But look at that 17 to 43 attack not bad all right cool and now we'll be making our way on over down we're going to be putting our two points into strength and we're going to focus on getting more dexterity however one very important point is normally you would need to put more points into dexterity because the spores that we're fighting have higher uh hit requirements and the high adventure stuff gives us, you know, 20 hit. So we're going to be using a blessing and agility scroll. Blessing provides 10 strength, 10 vitality, 10, I mean, sorry, 10 strength, 10 intelligence. Yeah, 10 strength, 10 ends and 10 decks. So it also provides a uh, blessing itself provides two plus two hit for every level of blessing. So level 10 blessings is going to give us a total of 30 hits. So we're going to be going up to 240 and some agility and we got a good amount of attack speed. So let's go on over and kill some spores. Don't forget to hotkey your potions. The novice red potions in the bottom are just, uh, you know, easy. Uh, they're, they're less effective, but it's fine. It's whatever. Now you're going to be just attacking spores. I thought back to the good old days of attacking spores. It's like the nostalgia is just like, ah, oh man, back back in my day, feeling young again, that kind of stuff. No, I'm just joking with you. So double attack is one of the better skills to pick up early on because it allows you to hit twice. You can also pick up the flea stuff, but right now you are not going to be needing to flee a whole lot of stuff. You're going to just kill stuff and use your potions. So just like that, very simple, very straightforward. We're going to be here all the way to level 13. You could opt to. Hey, Delver, how you doing? Oh, yeah. And hi, Div. I saw you say hi earlier. We're trying to help out the guy over here. So. Just reminded me of uh, Div because I saw him. I was like, oh, I'm going to go help. I'm going to say hi, but I got to get to this first real quick. So anyways, 
so we're here at the spores just uh very nice and easy nice and easy going not a whole lot of trouble being caused by these guys but we're causing them trouble so you get a maximum of uh oh wow 70 percent chance to double attack that's really good they updated that skill a while back so Three percent chance is nice. Anyways, just auto attack, just auto attack. Yeah, the card hunts. A lot of people usually tell me, "Bear, is there anything else you can do to farm Zenny?" Because I, 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 I'm tired of hunting cards. I'm like, well, cards is just the, uh, you know, one of the larger Zenny stuff you can get. The other options to sell stuff, farm and sell stuff that people may need from events and whatnot. It's just uh, could be a bit tedious. If uh, there's not a whole lot of going on and the event has already been in for a while, people usually buy a lot of the uh, goods for events. And uh, yeah, oh, there's a lot of sports here. Well, this guy's gonna kill him, so I'm just gonna teleport away. All right, back to near the entrance, so whatever. But yeah. And I just like to farm cards because you also get, depending what you're doing, you may also be getting the XP from the location you're farming at, or you may also be getting other cards from that location that you're at. Like for example, Sweet Nightmare and Restless Dead, they're both in the same map. There's a whole lot of Restless Dead. There's a whole, you know, good amount of Sweet Nightmares. You get either card, it's going to be worth Zenny. Because they're good cards. They're very useful cards with great utility. So... something to consider i personally also like to i also like to go to super high mob density maps with my mechanic i've been doing that lately with the abyss lakes and the whatchamacallit the current event there's uh there you get battle manual buffs and overcom buffs from that location but it's really really packed with a whole ton of monsters so you know you got to be careful We're almost level 13 so you have the choice of you can either stay here if you like or you can go to ant eggs because ant eggs they don't move very easy location easy monsters to fight you know there's not a whole lot to think about it's just just attack the ant eggs level up that's all there is to it unfortunately you also don't have a very good aoe because you are a thief you're a single target fighter assassin has an aoe skill two aoe skills great aoe skills so you can always look forward to becoming an assassin for that. And at level 13, we are going to be switching maps or we can stay here. You guys can uh, choose whatever you'd like to do. But level 13, my personal choice is just to go to Ant Hell. There's a whole lot of Ant Eggs ready to be, you know, attacked. Let's go back to pay on first though let's go sell these red herbs and then uh head on back as it's the one city i see that is actually buying these items Kill a few more as we're here already anyway so doesn't hurt go ahead and grab another 10 points into dexterity and start boosting another couple of points into agility agility oh yeah improved dodge is gonna give us so much more flea we're gonna get 30 flea with this and we'll become assassin we get another 10 flea on top of that so it's uh it's pretty nice really helps with the uh, single target fighting the mobbing and also for grimtooth because when you use grimtooth you mob you hide and then you grimtooth the mob 
So as long as they don't hit you when you're trying to hide, that's really, really good. Because if you get hit when you're trying to hide, it pops you out of hiding. There's a few other methods you can go about to avoid this particular issue, but all it's worth, uh, you know, it's just better to not get hit. All right, more agility. Let's go back. Let's go sell these red herbs. Hola, cada vez que entro al stream está subiendo un personaje. ¿Qué está haciendo específicamente? De pura casualidad, ¿has leído el título de los streams? No, no, no siendo grosero, o sea, pero no, la, la verdad, o sea, los has leído de pura casualidad. Entonces, si no sabes, que está bien que no sepas, porque si, si no sabes, no sabes, está bien. Yo te voy a decir, hay un evento. No, realmente. Ok, entonces hay un evento. I'm, I'm, somebody's asking that. Somebody said that every time they come into the stream, I'm, I'm leveling a different character. What exactly am I doing? So I'm going to explain the whole booster thing and, you know, the whole guide stuff. Entonces, lo que estoy haciendo es como hay un evento booster donde haces un personaje te dan armaduras gratis para que subas de nivel te dan pócimas una cajita con con items que puedes usar eh, cómo está bueno las pócimas las naves pócimas por ejemplo son las primeras cosas que te dan y otras cositas más y las armaduras entonces eh, como vas subiendo los personajes te la abres la cajita y te dan más cosas que son muy útiles entonces lo que estoy haciendo son técnicamente guías para la gente que quiere su, empezar un personaje con el evento booster y mucha gente regresa al juego y ha regresado últimamente y mucha gente no sabe dónde empezar entonces lo que yo estoy haciendo es ofreciendo una solución de cómo subir de nivel a los diferentes personajes que una persona quiera escoger si alguien quiere subir de nivel a un, un knight, un rune knight nomás hacen exclamation rk y tienen la guía es un stream completo pero te puedes saltar de dónde voy y qué hago a diferentes puntos. Pero estoy usando este evento. Sin el evento es casi la misma cosa, nomás que las armaduras tienen una ventaja de uh, hit adicional, pero no es tan la gran cosa. Y te dan pócimas, pero puedes comprar tus propias pócimas en el juego. Entonces, uh... Y luego, si quieres subir nivel a una, un, pal un paladin, un royal guard, puedes hacer exclamation G. Si quieres un warlock, puedes hacer esto. Pero ya tú tienes todos tus personajes mains. Eh, so, basically, okay, so booster is just referring to the events. So, if I tell people, hey, you want to make a booster guillotine cross, you just make, you make the assassin, you make your character through the booster events because you're going to have the access to those gears from the events. And that's what I mean by booster GX. Sí, okay. Tío. Sí, uh, tengo los personajes que yo ocupo. Entonces, míralo, míralo de esta forma. Esto es eh, Twitch. No, no, Twitch es entretenimiento. Los directos son entretenimiento. Si yo quisiera que alguien venga a ver el canal, tengo que ofrecer algo que a la gente guste ver. ¿Hace sentido? O sea, yo juego el juego y me sé todo esto lo todo, pero me gusta ofrecer algo porque yo entiendo lo que, de lo que se trata esto, de cierta forma. Al menos de lo que yo puedo hacer ahorita. Pues que no, no tengo tanto tiempo para hacer varias cosas, pero eso es lo, lo que, a lo que soy bueno. Y, y así, simple y sencillamente. Pero para mí, a mí me gusta mucho este juego. Quisiera que la gente aprendiera cómo jugarlo y darle soluciones sin tener que... Porque mucha gente también dice, ah, el IR es puro Perú, buen y... Y luego no puedes jugar si no pasa en la tarjeta de crédito y si no pasa la carta, pues ya qué hago. Eh, ya, to, entonces to, todo lo que tengo aquí está grabado en Twitch Lo que puedo hacer es Puedo cortarlo y ponerlo en una forma de, de YouTube Pero eso ya va a ser después de que se acabe el evento, creo um, Pero por mientras, mientras el evento está, sigue en vivo El evento voy a tratar de subir de, de nivel a varios personajes Para que la gente tenga una solución de qué hacer con los personajes Cuando haga otra actualización en el futuro de los, del Eden Group porque hay un grupo que se llama Eden Group en el juego, donde te dan armaduras y haces, si haces unas misiones. Eso en el futuro va a cambiar y van a ofrecer mejores armas que antes. Entonces, ahí es donde lo voy a hacer otra vez, pero con, el, uh, con la actualización del, del el Paradise Group Weapons. 
que es otra, otra actualización que viene más en el futuro. Entonces, si tú quieres, empezar, si tú quieres hacer un Night and Renewal en, 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 en este servidor, nomás tienes que hacer el Exclamation RK y ahí está todo para que sepas cómo hacer la clase. Explico las mecánicas, explico todo lo que yo hago y luego... No, no, no trato de hacer cosas que la gente no pueda hacer. Trato de hacer soluciones que, que cualquier persona tenga... Para que cualquier persona... No. Déjame formular la, la oración. Toda la gente que empieza el juego tiene acceso a todo lo que yo hago. No hay nada que yo hago de que la gente no pueda accesar. Todo está sencillamente explicado y simplemente y directamente es fácil. No es difícil. No más digo dónde están las cosas si tú las haces y ya. Fácil. Porque el juego ha pasado tras, por tantas actualizaciones que uno no sabe qué, qué es bueno y qué es malo. Y uno se distrae con varias cosas cuando en realidad nomás tiene que, pues, seguir estas instrucciones y ya. O sea, para no complicar tanto las cosas. Ok, y con eso, voy a continuar. Alright, so, we're, gonna, we're done with that. So, let's go ahead and... Well, we can sell stuff, but you know, let's just go back to the eating group. So now we're going to be going to Antia, which is one of my favorite dungeons of all times, as you know. So we're gonna, what you're going to do is you're going to talk to this NPC here, Dungeon Teleporter. Probably makes it says, sorry to say, this service only for parties. Now you're going to be a party of one slash organize. You're going to be Sunbear SX, Sunbear Shadow Cross. To talk to the Dungeon Teleporter and it charges you 25k Zenny. If you have less than 25k any, you do not get charged for the service. Lovely, isn't it? We have access to all these dungeons. So we're gonna go to Antail. Oh, there's no one here. Perfect. Now this will take a little while, so. Bad idea. Yeah. Are you VIP? Yeah. You don't get charged if you're VIP. Now, you know, the part of, you know, I know it's going to be a little bit slow, but it's whatever, you know. The, what matters is that you're getting levels. You are at very little to no risk of dying here, so. Screw it, might as well just uh, level up, right? We're very close to job level uh, 21, which will give us level 10 flea, but... We go from 146 to 173, so that's good for us. And yeah, I know it might be a bit like, oh, but Barry, you're always fighting the ant. He's like, yeah, because it's the easiest thing you can fight. It's the easiest map you have access to, might as well. Hola, disculpa, pero podías repetir como le hice la party solo? Okay, nomás haces a slash organize. Y, y haces tu party, por ejemplo, me voy a salir, me voy a slash leave. Slash organize y Sunbear SX. Hago la party. Ok. También las instrucciones están aquí en el. Uh, organize the party. Pues has created a party by typing slash organize and party name. Yeah. You don't use spores? Uh, no, nobody has been buying uh, strawberries for a long time now. Every time I check for a buy shop for strawberries, there's none. De nada.
but yeah very straightforward leveling so when you have base level uh what was the level of the soldier skeleton so soldier skeleton is level 34 so 34 minus 15 is 19. you can actually start finding soldier skeletons now if you like you need, but you need 233 fleet to flee them so at 268 hit you have enough hit for it as it is so you would benefit from boosting your agility however you might still want a few levels before you go fight them because the archer skeletons are nearby and the archer skeletons require 255 flea so you're not really going to be fleeing them as much so don't get your hopes up just yet just uh, stick around for a little bit let max thanks for the follow hope and join the stream so now you just gotta chill and wait a little bit for the antics to you know do your job and do their job and just spawn and you get the xp off them Not bad, not bad. The red earth and skeleton bones do sell rather well, so I always sell mine. My favorite level is a little bit for orcs. Okay. Oh, you sell them like you set up a sell shop, you mean? Uh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Then that case, yeah, they do sell. They do sell in that case. They're talking about the buy shop. Because I remember a while back, people used to pay a good amount of zinni for the st strawberries as well. So, I'm using a uh, main gauge right now. I know it's very weak. I don't have a better weapon yet. But eventually I'll get a better weapon. Just so that people think, oh, I need a better weapon to go fight the ant eggs because I'm pretty sure people would think, oh, I need a better weapon or something like that, you know? I, I don't want people to waste their time trying to farm up when, you know, they have everything they need here. Agility, we're gonna be boosting our strength now a little bit. <laughs> like the grants we are. Remember when people used to buy strawberries? They're very good in fiber. But these days I gotta get the prune juice. The doctor told me so. And after that, I'm regular again, just like with the strawberries. Okay, Grandpa Bear, that's enough. Silly Grandpa Bear reminiscing about the good times. In RO. In RO. Because, you know, reminiscing about good times is always great. Actually, as far as we're acting, it's, it's, it's worth noting. Yeah, it's true. It's, uh, reminiscing about the good times with RO is, uh, is very nice, to be honest. Oh yeah, and as you keep leveling, you can open up more of the uh, booster packs. I used to open it because it'll probably make me overweight then. I don't have to open anything. But yeah. I used to know I normally go to orcs for leveling. I just think that orcs may be a bit of a difficult map. Thinking about the whole bleeding aspect of bleeding, I really think that maybe uh, pay on dungeon might be a good choice for single target characters. If you have magnum break, then yeah, go ahead and mount with magnum break, arrow shower and that stuff. So, and also because people do buy skeleton bones, 
and red herbs in general so it's uh it's a good pickup you know I think being at uh pay on dungeon for a little bit will you know help us buy or better weapons so as long as we as long as we you know stick to the plan we should be fine there is a shop in alberta i don't know why people don't put up shops everywhere else for this kind of stuff but oh yeah actually i know why because you know um sunken ship is there but i really wonder why people people don't set up a shop at the location where they can sell the uh, skeleton bones or you can buy the skeleton bones for example if you want to buy skeleton bones set up the shop in uh you know at the entrance of uh Payon dungeon oh yeah guillotine fist most kind of people would uh use the smoky cards to try to hide dodge that stuff in the middle of the fights and then when you got when you got into the champion era you know the transcendent class era people would have to uh use sights people use sight clips instead of the ruach because there was that one frame where you get hit where you can actually hide you know if you if you're cloaked and you get popped up with ruach you can actually uh you know or if you try to hide and they use ruach and it pops you out there's a frame where you can actually hide it's just a whole lot of uh you know it was a whole lot of fun honestly But anyways, good times with the ant eggs. A bit more, a couple more ant eggs. Maybe base level 30 should be a good uh, stopping point. And club with the Fedora. Yeah, club with the Fedora on the walls, but the monks just like surprise, mother. Yeah. I, I still think the learning curve for RO is still pretty steep in a way. I think it was a lot more steep back then. I think. I don't know. Because I think there was just more PvP oriented stuff rather than just, uh, you know, game mechanical stuff. And it wasn't just like knowing what you do, it's actually pulling it off. And then if you're, if you're a champion and you had to deal with the stalkers, when the stalkers came in, that was the era of the, the what was it called? Like ground control or whatever stuff. And you had to go find the, you had to dig out the, the stalkers. But the way to do that, you couldn't just do that with Ruwak or um, or Sight because you couldn't detect them with the uh, Chase Walk. I think it was called st Stealth. Let me just make sure I get the right name. Yeah, Chase Walk. When you use Chase Walk, you had to you had to use a box of sunlight. You had to use a uh, Marine Sphere card. You had to snap to the location, and you had to you know make sure that by the time that you snap there, you could make them break to dig them out of the ground. Because now I, I, I think that's how it was, or was it vice versa, or was it backwards? Do I have it backwards? Because I know when you're in high, you cannot be. I think yeah, I think chase while you can be hit with that, right? My memory ain't so good, rooster. I took too many gelatin fists to the head. I think I think the most satisfying thing for me to uh, to pull a kill from was um, snap magnum break punch to break the height animation because I think sometimes because you know stealth chase bar had the little uh, cast bar so whenever you dug him out they would try to use hide so what I would do uh, was aside from uh, sights 
I would punch them so that there would be like the flinch. And if the triple attack procs, you know, they would still be in like the flinch, uh, you know, animation and they wouldn't be able to hide and then they would just get hit. Otherwise, sometimes that would hit them and they would like sidestep and they would like hide and it's like, okay, well, fine. You know, just, you know, have it your way, I guess. All right, we're level 31. I think we're very close to, uh, you know, level 35 is the ideal level because you also want to get EXP from Archer Skeletons. You also want to fight the Archer Skeletons. In a, you know, in a way, you might want to avoid the Archer Skeletons, but for what it's worth, you know, it'll be, it'll be this in EXP. So we can go ahead and go to, let's go to the eating group real quick. I don't think anyone's buying strawberry. I mean, I wish people bought strawberries these days, but I guess not. Let's see, let's see. Strawberry. I shot for 3,000 Zenny, no way. Ah, bless them. Bless the shop. All right, what about mushroom spores? Do people buy mushroom spores? Mushroom switch partial. <gasps> okay. All right, so we're going to be heading over to the eating group. My main was always a pure uh, sacrifice. I didn't fear guilty fears. My fear was created as this came out and. Oh my god. If, if you know, you know, right? But how do you feel about the whole, you know, um, stack versus stack kind of deal? I know it's because before those shops were always buying it for one zenny. And the strawberry shops were always in pay on. So whenever I come over here and I look up strawberry and it's one zenny, it's like, okay, whatever. I don't care, you know. But at least I still pick up the strawberries just in case. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take our zini that we just acquired. So we're going to be going to the eating group real quick. There is going to be something called the para market and they sell weapons there. It's all the NPC stuff you would find. So it's just like a centralized hub for, you know, those things. So you're going to talk to para market touts. Let's go to para market. We go over here and you're going to talk to Coco. Sorry, not Coco. Sorry, you're going to be talking to now show you're going to be buying dagger. Ooh. We're novices. Yeah, okay. Paradise blade. We're so close with Damascus. We're so close to Damascus, but we can't afford it. Can't afford a Damascus? No problem. It's okay. Just get a Gladius. Doesn't make you any less of an, of an assassin or a thief if you have 15 less attack on your weapon. If you can get a Damascus, cool. Good for you. Use it. Now we're gonna be going back to our favorite NPC, but before that, I need to um I need to do something real quick. If you don't mind, just give me like two minutes, beer be. I'm already at just run the ad and uh yeah i'll be right back i need to do something here at home and of course thank you for your support brb
All right, I'm gonna set up the uh, thing. Okay, so when you get to 40, a dagger or two. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm probably not gonna be doing that though. I don't know. Uh, okay, so first we're gonna be removing booking. We're gonna be going to pay on dungeon. When you get to look for it, English should be. Yeah, well, we're still gonna be doing this based off of the uh, booster stuff. Pay on dungeon. Because remember the, the whole lesson here. I mean, yeah, we could probably pick up the eating group stuff, but I don't really don't think that we need it because we get a dish, we get 20 hits off of this thing, and this thing also gives us a little bit of flea. Wait, does it give us flea? No, we get more attack and more hit, which is actually more uh Oh, I forgot real quick. There's bounty boards to be picked up and pay on. So there's a bounty board you can pick up and pay on for soldier skeletons. 20 to 40 check check yes check bounty and soldier skeleton now we can go to pan dungeon i don't know if it would be rk level fast because i think mobbing is just uh mobbing with magnum brick is just superb and i think we have a decent weapon with the gladius or the damascus either choice either one you get is a very good option so, you know, kind of do well with either one, honestly. So. Our goal is to not fight those until we're level 35. So we're going to just deal with these while we still can. Yeah, yeah, I know I got that uh, Archer Skeleton hitting me, but... Ah, screw it. We just, let's see how fast it takes to kill. Nah. Not worth it. The EXP penalty is really what limits us in terms of leveling, I believe. We could, we could probably go faster. We didn't have the EXP penalty. That's a lot of Archer Skeletons there. Whoops. Level up. Because once we get to assassin, it's just using the um, metal guitar, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, the problem with high orcs, I mean, that was you know, that's a back in my day kind of thing. Because the access to the high orc map is really just for the uh, VIP mini VIP, and the high orcs map that has the uh, in the clock tower that has the high orcs is really more about just uh worse because they have uh, they have these stainers up there so they can detect you when you're hiding so or the bright lights i think they're called bright lights right oh my god look at all those skeleton bones If, oh yeah and also a venom splasher does not work when you're in hide if you hide when you use venom splasher it doesn't proc it doesn't activate not kidding i, I tried it before fun in ragnarok yeah 
they go hand in hand how are you doing that pretender how's your day coming along For the record, I don't kill the uh, Archer Skeletons because they are level 50. 50 minus 15 is 35. There's no interest for me to kill this monster in particular. There's no, uh, ne there's no necessity. I don't benefit. In fact, I'm penalized for fighting them. No, but can back now. Yeah. But I can't sell anything. Remember, it's the Busha series. I can't rely on any outliers to make the character uh, work. It doesn't be like, oh, it's just, it's just some very luck. It's just your luck, some bear. We're not as lucky as you are. We can't uh, be pulling cards when we need them the most. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. People not picking up the loot is very common. setting up the coffee pot for the uh for the coffee but when we hit assassin we're gonna do the job change i might get some coffee and then uh you know keep, keep going from there but yeah uh i really think assassin is uh it's a very good starter class it's up there with night for me By the way, tomorrow we might be starting to stream very, very early. I think I'm going to go beyond the uh, rebirth process here today. I think the EXP event ends tomorrow. So I would like to at least finish Assassin to, uh, you know, Guillotine Cross before that happens. I guess I won't be taking Thursday off. And I haven't leveled my, I also haven't leveled up my, uh, my dragon birth green knights lately. They could use a couple of levels here and there. Maybe at least five are done. Really got to work on the other ones, but. I'm trying to get them done one at a time. So that's probably my problem. But it's whatever. Now we're oh yeah, I forgot we're level thirty five now, so now we can fight the archer skeletons and get full exp from them. We got all that exp. We got a whole, we got twice the amount of exp than we did from the normal skeletons. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. One thousand nine exp and archer skeleton is two thousand exp. Uh, I agree, but I choose generic all day. Wait, since I'm not, no, no, I'm not doing Thursday streams. No, no, I'm not doing Thursday streams. I'm thinking about doing it tomorrow just for the, for the assassin series, just to finish it.
Since back in my day, we crafted VVS. Oh my God, VVS. My back hurts just reading that. Oh my God. That's 10% EXP from these uh, arch soldiers. I mean, archer skeletons. That's really good EXP. Wow. Single targets got it good, man. Instead of bleeding to death in the, um, you know, in the orc, you know, fields. Nothing. They just became outdated and they're not useful anymore. I mean you could use them they're not they're not they're outdated but they're not useless you can still use them if you have them i'm pretty sure it'll beat the eating group weapon you know for just the elemental factor so points we haven't used all right so let's go up to 30 and then let's go up to 30 over well let's just go ahead and put the one point here go up here here we go nice that's wow it's a lot of exp that was like 10 percent exp Archer skeletons are so easy to fight. If I get an archer skeleton card, I'll probably start, uh, give it away. You know, I'm going to tell you right now, uh, just because it's the auto mod and I think the auto mod is funny. So silent roosters message got held because it says, uh, silent instead and get a boned infiltrator that this message got blocked. And the reason for it is sex based term. <laughs> I, it's just not, I just weird, man. I didn't make, I didn't make the booster white Smith. I didn't make it. I have the account for it. I have the booster. I have the account for it. I just haven't made the carrot. I haven't uh, done the stream for it. If you make, if you make a boost, if you have a booster. Okay, guys, 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 listen, listen, listen. I don't know how long the booster event is going to last. There's a chance that it might go away. Uh, I don't know when it's going to go away. The EXP event is going to end after maintenance. Apparently once, you know, before maintenance is the last time we're going to have the EXP boost according to the forums. Okay. This is a forum post. So make a character. If you want to make a booster character based off of these guides, make a character now. Highly recommend. This person is AFK. I'm just gonna take them off of the person. You're never gonna die, so holding up the mobs. But yeah, I know I haven't made the uh the I haven't done the stream for that yet. I think after I might just focus on my Dragon Birth Reunites. I, I'm pretty sure the XP event will go away if they did say it was gonna end at this time, but oh I don't know. Oh man, 
I should have kept I should have loaded by uh Dranbers Renites instead of playing uh Counter Strike. Maybe. I don't know. How are you doing, Flum? How are you? Hello? Ah, oh, 39. Look at that. So close to uh, base level 40. We didn't even finish the uh, Soldier Skeleton Bounty Board. All right, I'm going to be going over to pay on real quick. It's not a pay. We're going to be going to Alberta real quick. Oh, look, somebody, they are buying this stuff. Cool. Wow, 40,000 Zenny. Now we're going to save here because you can actually teleport to pay on. You can teleport to pay on from here. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Willow drops and green trunk. Hmm. You probably don't have to do this. I'm going to do it just because, but I'm going to sell the Gladius and pick up my Damascus. Because I have enough Zenny for that. Yeah. Cool. I'm going to buy a whole bunch of beginner fly wings. These weigh zero. I'm going to pay the 20k just because we can now afford to use awakening potions. So we're going to be using those for now. And now we still have extra Zenny from our sales. We're going to go buy the Damascus dagger instead. Just because we can. Will I need it past assassin? Nah, but you know, it's all good and dandy. Damascus, that is Damascus, 15 attack. Paradise, I mean, five defense was, uh, was pretty interesting. Anyways, I'm gonna go back to the eating group. We're gonna go back to the dungeon teleporter. I'm gonna be heading back over to Payan Dungeon. I don't have to do the eating quest. That's that's what I'm trying to tell you. I don't have to do the eating quest. Oh, I didn't pick up the quest. Oh crap! All right, well we're going back to Peon. You actually don't need the eating quest. The metal Qatar is better than the eating quest, and the hit that we get from the um, booster and the attack is actually better. If this was non booster, if this was non booster character, yeah, of course, absolutely. We're going to be doing the, uh, we're going to be doing the uh, eating group stuff. If we didn't have the booster stuff, I'm really good into level 60, but I, it's, this is already good enough all the way to level 60. Hey, fist cuffs. How you doing? I feel I feel like this is this is the logic. I feel as though the Eden group quest might be a bit of a time sink for me. Because the Damascus is still just good enough for what for what we have. Skeleton bone cell, red herb cell. We have what we need. And we'll just proceed. There's no need for any additional stuff. I understand that Eden group is good. But we kinda don't need it. We're okay. If we didn't have the booster stuff, yeah, eating group stuff all the way. You know, you guys know I'm a huge fan of the eating group stuff. So, oh yeah, I forgot. When you open up the level 30 pack, you also get a bunch of random stuff you don't need. You also get a metal refine ticket. You double click the metal refine ticket and you craft your metal guitar to plus seven. Well, you upgrade to plus seven just with this, and that's it.
Now hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. So you're saying I gotta get so you're saying I gotta get it for the dagger? Now, Sword, Sword, uh, Swordy Knight was just the most impressive uh, stream that we did. I see what you mean i see what you mean now i get it you're right rooster is right so my deal is that okay so he has a point the weapon is 158 attack my damascus is what 118 My perspective on this is yes it's a really good weapon however i feel as though i can make do it what i got and don't feel the necessity to do the quest because i think we can just get job 50 here really easily that's my take it doesn't stop it from being a good weapon doesn't stop it from having man, 40 more attack. That's actually really good. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and do it and just do a comparison of the damage to see if you really have to go do it or not. You can just, uh, you know, chill in the orc dungeon and the orc dungeon in the pan dungeon. So let's go ahead and just take a quick look at that real quick. Let's see, level 40 to 69. So if you're watching the VOD, this is just a test. You can skip forward to see if it was worth it or not. So by all means, just uh, skip forward past that and see uh, where I do the character login screen or what should I do as a save? Yeah, just 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 go back and check when I'm in Payon again after this. Or, oh yeah I, it's because i cannot i'm already 10 job levels away from the from getting the levels you know and i still do decent enough damage as it is so we're gonna do a uh i need to uh get rid of some zenny otherwise i'm gonna lose it But it can be used when you yeah but i don't i don't do anything when i rebirth the character levels on its own with the mercenaries the mercenary does the leveling on its own you don't have to do anything Now that we're below 25k zenny we talk to the npc we're gonna go to orc dungeon
Well, it's not it's not about speed running it. It's just that when you rebirth, you really don't use you really and I mean it, you really don't use the um what you might call it. You don't use the mercenary. I mean you don't use anything but the mercenary. The mercenary will literally level you up. You guys have seen me play every single character. Each time the mercenary levels you faster than actually attacking monsters. And it's not a thing about speedrun. It's just more of like the easier approach to leveling. That doesn't really, you know, make you have to go through the process all over again. Literally, it's flywing, brandish spear. Flywing, brandish spear. Flywing, brandish spear. I teleported beforehand. Whoops. Oh, I survived with very little HP. Bro, but okay, okay. So let me let me make something clear. The reason why I went to pay on dungeon is to avoid the bleeding from the orcs. At least early on, that was the idea. Because after you know some trial and error. If you don't have an AOE skill, maybe Orcs is really not the best place. If you're gonna die to bleed, might as well make it so that you know you at least got a lot of EXP from the mobbing. Yeah, the bleeding, I died to it so much, yeah. See? And this is based on people's feedbacks and uh opinions so me testing out the dagger stuff it's also you know so we started at 135 by the way we moved out of uh, pay on dungeon at 135 to start testing the orc uh stuff so i'm just keeping tab on time to see if it was efficient or not and if it was worth the extra 40 attack probably might be worth the 40 attack but i really can't find these orc babies so Everyone has different leveling approach. My thing was bleeding is an annoying mechanic. And it can be troublesome for a lot of people. So I I just pot it out. I say I don't care, I'm gonna pot it out and just you know try to be a tough guy, but probably not always the best approach. You use up a lot of resources trying to do that, so And remember, this is not about speed running. It's just about a simple, basic approach to leveling that doesn't involve, you know, a whole lot of uh, back and forth and going all over the place and getting lost, not knowing where to go. It's to simplify the process with a practical and logical approach that is actually explained, not just like, oh, just go here because I went here, because we've had uh, certain situations where people recommend certain things and they're actually not as good because, you know, for the parameters of the boost event, they're not good and actually require a bit more equipment doesn't say they're bad options that's not what i'm saying i'm just saying that they're not good options for the character when you start off fresh with nothing and that is not the example one i have for people who start off fresh because either way if you cannot do a certain dungeon with a certain character you are gonna have to grind it out anyway so It's almost the same thing in the big in the grand scheme of things just almost the same thing you're gonna have to grind it out no matter what if you even if you have equipment you're still gonna be getting the same amount of vxp Titan tv thanks for the follow hope you enjoy the stream but knights on the other hand oh yeah knights with their bowling bash yeah they're really good aren't they with their with their Bowling bash and their exp mod i mean sorry exp their hp modifiers and high you know healing with the items they have it easy but knights is the easiest class to start off with in fact in fact can someone do the honor for me someone do the exclamation one the exclamation mark you guys will love it There you go. 
So if you want to level up a rune knight, you want to level up a knight, you want to make a knight, follow that. Guaranteed, you know, in approximately six and a half to seven hours, you have your character leveled up. Play along with it, follow instructions, do what I do. You'll be there in no time. It's already tried and true, but somebody else, somebody else already made a, they already made a knight and they said it was very good. It worked. Come on, Zeros, you already know the answer. No. Not even one hour and 42 minutes could I make a get to guillotine cross. This is this is non wailing stream, by the way. Just uh, just so you know, I think I have to make it clear because I, I don't think you get it by now, Zeris. Three hours village like me. Wow. I, I think everybody that watches the streams keeps forgetting that this is not intended for people who already have everything in the game, you know? You thought I was a whale? I'm a bear, bro. He's probably gonna show me something with like Cadivan Avon Blood, Magnum Break Clip, and uh, Deviling Etrin at Orcs, and Sunken Ship, and Heartbeast. And then tell me, see, all you had to do all along was swipe. Do you imagine? Thank you very much, Mr. Keys. I appreciate that. I thought yesterday's hero was a boost character. Thief is a boost character. So yes, okay. So think about it. No one tell him. No one tell him. Just think about it. If for one, if for every war portal account, you can make three RO game accounts. How many RO game accounts can you make with multiple war portal accounts? Ah. So it took me about 10 minutes, uh, nine minutes. Zeris, come on, man. So anyways, it's not about the RO game accounts. It's about making multiple work portal accounts. That was you. Wow. What are you doing there? Are you leveling? All right, so we talk to Sergeant Boya. Yeah, yeah, cool. All right. Let's go pick up the weapons. So I just have multiple War Portal accounts, and I make an RO game accounts, three RO game accounts on each. So. One War Portal account equals three RO game accounts. Well, no, 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 no. I mean, no, I meant that. Uh, uh. Zara, stop answering C to everything. <laughs> and again, Jeff is now. I don't know what. Oh, okay. Actually, well, I leveled up at Moonox, Bongon, and uh, Soldier Scouts. I leveled up on level three. It was actually a really good leveling spot. Wait a second. What? Oh, basic equipment. No, it's this guy up here, right? Yeah. To get supplies. Yes, yes. I have space. All right. So let's just go see the weapon difference. We know we're going to be getting the uh, 143 to 183. It's pretty good. So let's go see how much damage we do. So this took about eh, 9, 10 minutes. Let's go back 
to pay on dungeon because we have our bounty boards near completion over there anyways and the exp is pretty good and we also need the job exp so uh, let's see so, bam, 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 bam. i don't want to die to bleed anyway so whatever all right That mission funny. What was supposed to be funny, Zeris? Hmm. All right. Four twelve, four oh six. We do about four hundred damage, and let's see how much we do with the uh, Damascus. So let's say four hundred eight. 358 320 so about 180 200 more damage oh, i guess for each attack yeah that's pretty good all right it's probably worth uh 10 minutes yeah it's worth the 10 minutes that's a good call All right, so with that said, we are gonna be adding the, oh, I had one point of vitality. No, my build is ruined. I mean, for what it's worth, you can still get to job 50 with just that, you know. There's no, un there's no undead and chance for the guitar, unfortunately. Yeah, see the problem, the problem is restored that there's a lot of things that I talk about that when I show people the bots or I tell, give them instructions, they don't do it. And it's at this point, it's just like, all right, it's going to be as basic as it gets. And if people do it, they do it and they don't, they don't do it. They don't do it because I've been given specific instructions for a lot of things. Yeah, you probably could save. That's a really good point. I mean, unfortunately, this is a booster. This is the booster series. So we get all the potions from booster anyways. And we're still leveling here anyway. So we're still going to be getting these any further potions regardless. If this was not booster, I agree 1000% with you. Once we get the paradise update, we'll probably redo the characters with the, you know, paradise updates approach and see how that goes. Because those weapons are really, really strong. Those things are no joke. I think they even have skill modifiers on them, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know which ones the paradise. Oh, I can turn that quest in. I don't know which quests. Sorry, not which quest. Which weapons the uh, Hazy Forest website is showing. But let's see. For example, Paradise Knight Two-Handed Sword increases damage with Bowling Bash by 10% at level 75. The uses level is based 90 higher by an additional. You get 25% damage modifier for Bowling Bash with a Paradise weapon. This is just ridiculously. No, I'm not. No, no, no. The, okay. Overlook water dungeon is not going to be done. No, there's no way. No, no, no. We don't need it. We don't need it. No. Leveling wise, it does work, but I'll do it with an alt character as the starter location. In fact, maybe after the booster event ends, I'll do magic ninja there. But right now I want to, I want to use the time that I have for the characters that actually need to be shown right away before the event goes away. Nah, man. I understand your points. I don't. I don't distrust the Overlook Water Dungeon. I don't. I just don't want people to get sidetracked and be like, "Oh, I didn't get the fan. I can't do the uh, job change quest because I don't have a fan card with me." So, but I'm not using Venus. I'm not using Meteor Salt. That's the thing. 
and there's ways to use meteor salt without having to rely on the fan card because you do have flea you just mop two three monsters at a time you don't mop more than two to three and you can use uh, meteor salt without the fan guaranteed game mechanics we're talking about game mechanics here Because I'm also not going to try to over mob with the assassin. That's just, you know, bad business. And then, and then here, here's, uh, oh yeah. Okay. You're going to dare me to mob in a super high mob density map where I'm probably going to die. <laughs> See, th I don't, this is why I don't take bets. I, well, I, I took one and I lost the other day, but if there is no basis for me to actually think that this might actually work, it's, it's the same thing. Okay. You know what? I'm sorry, but we're going to do this whole thing again. This is the Zerus approach again with the magma dungeon. You're telling me to go to magma dungeon. I'm probably going to, I'm probably going to die from all the damage you're going to deal. I may kill them, but in return, they're going to kill me. I will have to use potions and it's not a simple approach, but tell me what happens. What happens when someone watches the VOD and they skip overlook water dungeon and they say, Hey, I can't do the uh, meteor salt like you do at magma dungeon. Why is that? And I'm like, did you go to the overlook water dungeon? No, I couldn't. I couldn't afford the magical reset stones. I've already seen that happen before. So if I have something that people can't replicate with ease, there's going to be a bit of a problem because if I have to rely on a card to do something that actually hurts the premise of the uh, booster approach to just level up without needing anything extra. Cause I've told people so many times certain things and they always skip it or they don't do it or they say, Oh, I didn't see that. So the simpler it gets where you don't need anything, the better it is in my personal opinion. Based on my experiences from all the people that I've talked to, from all the people that I've helped, this is what I've concluded. And hence why I do the booster series the way I do it. But do you know what a proper G gear setup GX to level? Yeah. You, what, of, what, what is the proper setup, Zeris? Tell me, what is the proper setup? this is this is the the similar this sounds very awfully sim similar to something else that gunslinger can level up with magma dungeon but yeah no every, everything there is a reason why i take a particular approach with these things because i've already experienced this so many times and had people tell me all of these things so many times that they can't do things so because they don't have what i had somebody already said hey i tried doing the star gladiator thing and i didn't have the equipment that you had what can i do instead so it's nice to replicate because the headgear was a seasonal event and it was it's not available year round so they can't you know copy the same headgear do the same thing unfortunately stream page what, what do you mean oh stream lag i was like stream page like what did I, what did i do to you there <laughs> anyways hey it's iron okay see there now we have it there we go it's ira newbie friendly never been to ira before no 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 no, I can't. Everything has to be consistent. Consistency. It has to be. If it, if this was if this was the summer stream, the summer adventure, I would do that. It would be like everything goes summer way. Let's go. I would do overlook. If this was the summer leveling approach, I would do that. Hands down. Absolutely. Solar sword, another weapon, and a fan clip. Maybe the uh, Eden Group Mento for the resistance on the neutral property attacks. Fireproof potion. HP increase potion. Then clip. There we go. Absolutely. I would. I would. I would. I would. Trust me. I would. 
I know meter salt is a great skill. 1400% attack modifier. It's an absolute, you know, beauty. It's just that this is this particular approach is not intended for people that already know the game. And sorry, we had somebody who said, uh, friendly. You're in the right channel. Wow, look at that. Somebody said that. Thank you, Flim Flim. So, okay, so you're going to hear a lot of things about IRO. You're going to hear a lot of things about it. I'm very sure you're going to hear a lot of things about it. The game is as friendly as. Mm, Okay, there's a steep learning curve, but you came to the right place because we pretty much explained everything that you need to know right off the bat. So we, we are going to take a lot of the guessing out of the game for you because that's exactly what we do here. Because that's what I do. I take the guessing out of the game and just give it to you straight what to do, what to go, how to level. Simple, straight approach. You can go explore and do whatever you want, but you want to level up, you have to follow what I have because it's just straightforward. I mean, there's other alternatives, there's other options, but if I do it live on stream, there's no reason to say that you can't level up. The market is probably something you have to get into the habit of learning because it's not a very simple thing to just pick up right off the bat, but it is actually easy to understand. Just got to put a little bit of time into it and that's it. But it's it's just like it's just Ragnarok. It's your Ragnarok. No matter how you look at it, so R is just uh It's just different, different market, different mechanics because it's renewal. Uh, we're going to go to pay on turn in the uh, soldier skeleton quest real quick. But yeah, no, it'll be doable. Like, for example, like someone already mentioned, I leveled up a runite in one sitting. Right now, we have this thing called booster event. If you join now and you make a booster character by, you know, registering on the website. You download the game and you make a character, you log out and you do the booster. The character, if you make a character to this event, the character will have unlimited free resets. As, as far as I know, right now we have free resets on the characters. And we had people who had made characters in, uh, who had made them in 2021. And to this day, they still have free reset. I'm gonna go ahead and turn in the old bounty board we had. Ah, not bad. It's still a lot of EXP. I'm gonna go back to pay on real quick. I don't want to carry too many things, so let's just go ahead and sell the junk real quick. That's a lot of weight, though. Okay. a buy shop so does anything's gonna go into the mailbox should be fine all right since you get into you take the time to read the class of skills a lot of guys yeah but a sizable amount of the information is somewhat outdated yeah and that is why here on the summer discord on the summer channel i try to make things as straightforward as possible in terms of leveling of where to go what to do how to level how to use your skills and that's it I want to take the guessing out of the game because I know people struggle with this in particular. Yeah, we try to answer everything. I try to give you the best possible answer to your questions. No BS, no, hey, go swipe just to level up your character. Once you're 99, you don't have to swipe at all. After that, you're free to do so as long as you understand the game and the character. But don't think that you have to swipe just because you heard people say you have to swipe. That's just not how it works. It's Discord. Discord. Because people are more likely to type Discord than Bear Cord. How is someone supposed to know what Bear Cord is? They won't know. Redundant. Uh, I can't wait to get to job 50. <sighs> yeah, 
Anyways. Well, I think the event ends soon because the EXP event is ending. I don't know about the booster part, though. That's the one part I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of the booster ending. With the EXP event, because it's just like, damn, it's like, okay. But what now? Well, actually, I know what now then. It's actually the, um, the uh, Overlook Water Dungeon streams. I'm so curious as to what these people are doing in the uh, in the corner, just standing there. Well, well, has not ever been balanced in a long time, but I don't do well, so I'm not going to give you an, an answer on that. So maybe someone that does well here can actually give you a better response than I would. So there's that. Leveling here, leveling here hasn't been bad. It's okay for single targets. If you have an AOE skill, it's probably better. You probably could go to orcs as well, but if you get hit with bleed, you know, there's probably a bit more Zeni here with the red herbs and the skeleton bones, which is probably something you might might want. It helps. It's not the solution to everything, but it helps. If you were not in booster, you probably would still be here anyways, because the skeleton bones sell relatively well. So for what it's worth, I think this kind of works. There'd be better spots, probably more than likely. Yes, but you know, safe to play, safe to say, you know, you'll be fine here for the most part. no problem you want to look look let me put it this way right now if you want to make a booster character and you get the unlimited free resets do it now because tomorrow supposedly the exp event is ending and i don't know if that's good they're gonna take the booster with it i don't know not scaring anyone i'm just encouraging people to make the booster characters and good morning ringy how are you Anyone got a recommendation for a server? Yeah, we don't exactly do, uh, you know, other place recommendations. I think that's, uh, you know, so search you got to do out there because I don't recommend places and I don't know anything about places. And personally, I never really recommend places outside of IRO. As long as we got the fish here, we should be able to get you get you working on that thing. I trust the fish. I trust the fish. Yeah, I'll look into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I understand. People can just play art however they want. It's just I don't personally do those, you know, particular recommendations for other places. Because let me tell you something. When I started streaming, I, when I started streaming IRO, I had a lot of people come in here and tell me, why don't you stream? I mean, why don't you play this other server? This other place is better than, than officials. Officials this, officials that. So I figured I would disable links when I first started streaming because I know that, you know, it's either people would post uh, other places as a site to tell people to go play. And I wouldn't want that. And sure enough, that happened often. Happened every so often. We had that happen recently. And it's like, you know, yeah, you know, I can't go ahead and just recommend when, you know, other places, you know, kind of try doing that. It just does, doesn't work that way. A lot of people don't like officials for various reasons. 
and it's fine but it's not for people to come in and tell me that hey this place sucks go somewhere else you know it's like that's not fair so i don't yeah that's not how this works and even then i still probably don't think i'd recommend this is this is where i this is where i play this is what i entertain with so that's also the other part of it it's easier for me to answer questions help people with something that i know of than something that i don't know about so I, like even when people ask you questions about uh, pre-renewal I, I don't know what to, how to answer pre-renewal questions i don't remember that kind of stuff i don't know how to help you there and everything has changed how are you ringy let me guess you just woke up right now like 9 30 or something you rolled out of bed you opened up the laptop and like oh there's sun bear Yeah, EXP event is ending. I want to make sure I get this character sorted out before the EXP event ends. I might even be on earlier tomorrow. Like we're talking maybe, you know, 7.30, maybe 4.30 a.m. your time just to get the character done because I don't want to run the risk of leaving the character with a third episode. That would just be kind of crappy. So I'd rather just get it done in one in two sittings and be done with it. Oh, look, we're almost done with the uh, teleport. Oh, I got stunned. I saw that. Very like reflexes. My time zone is Eastern. In fact, you're going, uh, you're in the Eastern, right? Hey, you go, you're going up North. I'm thinking you're changing time zones. Like it's not changing time time zones. It's just in the same time zone. But yeah. All right. Perfect. Wonderful. We are now very close to drop level fifty. There we go. Drop fifty. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's go put points into whatever here. Uh, to level ten. High level eight. Cool. All right. Cool. So now you're ready to become an assassin. So we're gonna be getting going back to pay on we're gonna be taking the eating group routes blah 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 going over to aperture <clears throat> my, my favorite class is super novice Also monk, I think champion. Champion is probably my favorite one. Super novice. So now that you are base level 57, you get the booster, bo booster pack level 45. You open it and you can drop your quiver and your bullet cases. You also get a job change ticket, second job change. So we need to talk into manager. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I'll go. Just kidding. Yeah, talk. Yes, yes. And I just want to change jobs and prerequisites. Yes, yes, yes. And you're going to be, yes, change my job. Assassin, you choose assassin, boom, you're assassin. So be careful with that because once you pick it, that's what you get. 
all right so let's look at the weapon that we have for our character metal guitar okay do we get how much attack do we get out of this right now 160 185 to 25 get 160 attack wow it has five more attack than the eating group guitar at level 56 aren't super novice super expensive yes but she asked what my favorite class was not my favorite you know uh damage dealer and all that kind of stuff was the popular build is sit in town look cute and sit in town build best build all right so let's go back to pan dungeon because we have the uh bounty boards there and there's a lot of monsters there so we can probably get away with uh you know um oh before we do that we can also get ourselves a fire and out just for the sake of extra damage wow Zeris. Chunky cats, elemental converter. So undead are weak to fire. Might as well just get ourselves a fire elemental converter. Wow, the elemental converter market is competitive. Thirty thousand zenny for fire. Wow. Insane. And anyways, back to the eating group. Back to leveling. Mental strength and auto cast. No, please, no. I cannot. Why did I always walk with their hand under, like, you know? Wow, he did the crit. He did the crit. Crit build confirmed. a few uh, job levels to get there huh oh well, that's fine so anyways uh base level 65 you know where we're going we're gonna try venom splasher with the um heartbeats as well just to be sure that you know we can try it at the very least and if it works with ease then we can recommend it if not back to uh last time so the thing about the auto attack and then it's just so relaxing Oh yeah, I removed the uh the sound because we had a lot of trouble with the Suras uh sorry with the chat with the champions combos. We can't afford it. We can't afford the magic stones. And even at rebirth, we're still gonna be doing the same old thing. 
because if i do that and people skip it and they don't have to think for it they're like how do i make zenny then you're gonna get sidetracked we just want to make sure people can level up trust me on this one trust me on this one if this was a somber series to leveling an assassin like the uh you know the somber goes you know all out i would do that no doubt about it overlook is great but people seem to rely too much on gramps so when people recommend gramps and the monster of the week is not gramps you know you know uh be friendly for gramps it just becomes a house because then people are lost or where they can go level up if people skip something or don't know how to do something then it becomes a problem because they don't know how to do what you did and the most simple basic approach to things is easiest it can be a recommendation no doubt about it i don't disagree that overlook water drain is great my concern is just people saying oh i can't do you know macro dungeon because i don't have a fan card But I'll go over it again if I have to. It's just a thing that's been coming up a lot lately. With the uh with people trying to do certain things and they can't do it because they don't have what I had. And it's just this is why I do the series as simple as possible. And when the Paradise equipment comes out, I will be sure to be doing a series covering that as well. Maybe up to level 90, because we know how 90 to 99 goes. We see this too often. All right, Sonic Blow. I don't, I don't boost luck. I'm going to be using Grim Tooth and Venom Splasher. I think, uh, what's my call it? I think Critical Assassin is one of those alternate builds. You know? I think that's really good, actually. For the, what the Ven Venom does, was it? Or did Venom Splash require the, uh, the stone? I can't remember anymore.
Anyways, I'm glad they got away with that redstone requirement. I mean, they did away, not got away, they did away. You don't need them anymore, but I can't remember which skill was the one that needed it. I think Venom was it what Venom does in Venom Splasher or Level 60, not bad. Next point we get Grim Tooth. Pretty good. Venom slash your Venom. No, oh, I think Venom React was without because I remember using that back then without uh, that. I think it really was Venom Dust and Venom Splasher. I think Venom Venom React was the like the free one that you used. So do you know, do you know that if you use um, Grimtooth, level one and two is, level two Grimtooth is melee damage. And you can recover SP with level two if you use Earth Leader card. Believe it or not. Loud though, I don't know how you guys feel about that. I think that is kind of loud. But at least we can do some nice, good old leveling here. Just uh, yeah, I mean, it even says on instructions. Level one and two inflict close range damage, which is melee. And I tested it on stream before. It's actually really interesting.
Yeah, the the arrow stuff. Yeah, they stopped doing that. They they fixed that a long time ago. That was pretty good stuff, though. I really like that particular thing. It seemed very uh very smart. Like mechanically speaking, it just seemed it was very weird that you could equip it like that, but it was really interesting to see it work. I'm so surprised that soldier skeletons i think soldier skeletons drops a lot of chain mail that is just such a bizarre item for them to drop i think it's them because munox don't show that yeah chain mail 0.01 card drop rate which is you know the same as the uh So now we're going to be using higher level Grim Tooth because we're not doing the uh, whole, uh, you know, Earth Leader thing here. But uh, you could, if you have an Earth Leader, you keep it at level two. You get really good at mobbing and it's uh, it works wonders. Good stuff. So let's see. We're gonna go around making mobs of Moonax and Bond Guns and just uh get our level 65. Uh go to Eden. Um start no, it's not go to Eden, go to Glass Time, start up our uh, leveling at the Grace and Evil Dreads, just for the sake of uh you know getting to 68. Then we're gonna do a little quick test run at Heartbeast and see how that uh you know Venom Slasher works out for us. I love Grimtooth. All right, let's keep going. A bit more attack speed here and there. Now, here's a little quick, uh, little quick thing you might may or may not know, which I'll tell you about right now. Did you know that you know that there is actually a very, very peculiar thing you can do with the hide and cloaking? Believe it or not, you can actually cloak and hide and hide and cloak. So, if you use well, you can't use hide. You can't use cloak here, right? But you can use it here along the wall. But you know you can hide and go into cloak and then go into hide again. This is actually the way that I uh, approach using Venom Splasher because without that, you can't hit. Ben if you hide after using Venom Splasher, you're not going to hit the skill. It's going to miss. It's going to just do nothing. I think I can make a really large mob over here. I'm almost searching of that. Thirty-eight percent of the next level. That is some EXP. Damn. I don't think we could walk past that. I think that was the, uh, a dead end.
Oh, actually, have you gone into the summer discord visceral? I probably could. I probably could. I just have the bounty board I want to finish. I'm, I'm at level 65. I'm already going to be at a, at a evil dress and rates anyway. So might as well just finish this bounty board, get my EXP, go on to the next place. And also the hair is probably worth something. A little bit of extra pocket change for the potions. I might be spamming a lot of uh, Sonic Blow later if I'm not, uh, you know, if my Venom Splash for Strat doesn't work. So it'll pay for the potions. It pays for this. This stuff here pays for the potions, thankfully. And then you learned about cross impact. I got stuck along the pillar. <laughs> I saw myself get stuck at the pillar. Oh man. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna finish them up here. The problem is we're getting attacked by all the archer skeletons. So that is not exactly helping our case. Oh, lag spike, lag spike. Also 25% and now I'm a uh, level well I'm already the next level. That was a lag spike. There was a lag spike right there, and I almost died for that. <sighs> Venom Splasher, yeah, Venom Splasher wasn't gonna save me there. I was probably gonna get hit by the monsters. I probably could have dropped it though. You're right, I probably could have dropped it on the uh Archer Skeleton, but we already had Grimtooth. Grimtooth kills him fast enough as it is. We don't have to drop a Venom Splasher. Yeah, I probably was getting a large meal. Yeah, I didn't let him get away with it. We're having lag spikes right now. I might need the backslide exactly. Yeah, I probably will have to get the skill. Probably one of the few skills worth getting, so. All right. Our elements converter ran out. We have uh, maybe 18, 12, 30, 51 monsters more to kill. So we should be fine. We have all the archer skeletons that we need here. So. Yep, you're getting hit by the archer skeletons there, bear. Not gonna get away with that. They won't let you. All right, so let's make a small mob here. Let's get rid of this here. And then we're gonna go off and fight the other monsters. done with this map anyway so 
after this we're gonna be heading back out um to evil Driz real quick we're gonna test out the oh yeah we need sonic low level five actually yeah we'll get it we'll probably waste some exp here by doing the this um what call it by training all of the boards in at once but it's whatever it's not such a big deal you're gonna be getting the good exp from your other uh thoughts so don't worry too much on it just know that you're almost done with some banding boards you're gonna get some decent uh base exp actually you might have to just uh have to go get the backside skill because we should be at level 68 for heartbeats so we can give it a try We have 64 skill from his stat points. We got a boost dexterity for sure. We do rely on a bit of a cast time on this skill anyway, so we do need it. So bone gun is completed. We got a complete archer skeleton now. We're gonna mob him up, bring him together. Pick up our herbs and skeleton bones because that's going to make us some zenny, hopefully. Because there's somebody buying red herbs for 500 zenny in Payon. There's somebody buying skeleton bones in Alberta. Just go over back and forth. That's it. Easy. sucks that we didn't have we didn't have anything else besides the um what you call it like grim to like there's no hide and uh you know attack skill like grim tooth for guillotine cross and uh shadow cross i kind of like grim tooth a lot it's a pretty cool skill so we just need two archer skeletons and we're free to leave <sighs> finally I'll make a mob just to uh, get rid of my bit of SP here and and get the next levels. That way, at the very least, I won't waste the EXP because we're getting a whole ton of EXP from this. So we might actually be getting a little bit much more than we need to. So might as well just get the there we go both levels and get out of here. All right, good job. Now you're done with the dungeon. And you can now go ahead and turn in your bounty boards, lose your EXP because you got too much EXP from these quests anyways. And yeah, we're going to be heading on over to do the rocker uh, hunting for the backside skill quest, which we're going to try for heartbeats. And that's it. If for whatever reason, you know, as usual, for whatever reason, you cannot do the thing with heartbeats. Oh, I was already receiving Alberta. Silly me, I can teleport here. So, anyways, as I was saying, if you cannot, for whatever reason, do the harpy thing, don't worry, you can always go to Glassheim. One hundred and twelve thousand zenny. Wow, Barry's rich. To prevent grim teeth. Wow, pretty funny. We're gonna go to Prontaire real quick. We're gonna check the market for dengue and short dengue. 
Yeah, sugar bear. Okay, sure. Not that either. Oh, oh yeah, I said I was gonna get some coffee once I turned assassin. Well, maybe after the backslide quest. Let me look at who is buying Bengi. Uh, e? No one is buying Dengi. Are you serious? Are you sure about that? I. No. I bet someone's selling them though. Wow. Unable to search. What do you mean? I'm unable to search. Oh, whatever. All right. We're going to keep them in storage for the time being until a shop shows up to buy them. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Do you guys think it's weird that we actually use the monsters, you know, hair to make our own hair, like make our own haircuts? Isn't that like weird? All right, you're welcome. So if you're free to request any bear, just know that I'm playing around. Uh, I don't know about the Care Bears though. It's in the eating group. The name is Mesmerist. It's in the top left corner. Yeah, that's a very long cast time. I, I don't I don't feel good about this. <laughs> oh, only got one. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, look, I'm gonna tell you right now. I have my doubts. Who rec who suggested the Venom Splash on Heartbeats? you okay you have but you have fan card i believe when you do this right when you do this ah uh, okay well i'm just gonna show you guys how it works and if you can pull it off or not All right, so there is a harpy there. Okay, so they do die in that one. Okay, no elemental converter. That was 4,000 whatever damage. 4,488. I got to find a single target one though to try it out on. Okay, here's one. Okay, so elemental and that with uh, Venom Splash works. All right, so let's try this. Remember, it has to be easy to perform. Also, I don't have Grim Tooth. I can only do one or the other. So, so let's make a small mob and let's see how this works out for us. So I think the way we're supposed to pull this off is by teleporting away because we're already getting destroyed. So you're supposed to run up to another heartbeat. I killed one, but that didn't exactly work out for me. Hmm. 
yeah no i'm spamming too much to try to get the uh thing going all right let's try this again so not too far from me Okay, that worked out all right so what you have to do is you have to run up to a mob you have to find a single target when you have a mob behind you yeah that, that makes a lot of sense that makes a lot of sense you have a mob behind you right so clean mechanics dictate that the more monsters you have on you the more likely is that you're gonna get hit you can always just do that and just no that's too far hmm The main idea is to have a mob of monsters with you and you use Venom Splasher on a Harpy that's far from the mob. So like this, you have a mob behind you. You go up, you find a single target. Uh, here's one. Actually, not too far. This one right here. Yeah, I, I got interrupted. So what if you just Venom Splasher and teleport out? Yep. Nope, that's not going to work. It's kind of hard to get to a single mob to pull that off. The damage is great. It's very rewarding. Yeah, well, fish hasn't shown up. Just, yeah, take a break, you know, wait for fish. Fish I trust. Oh, for what it's worth, you can definitely do uh, the eating group thing with uh without the sonic i mean yeah you can do evil joys in the race without the sonic acceleration it's just a thing i want to pick up just to show you guys because you might be using sonic blow uh for evil for dark three so and adios amigos thanks for the follow hope you enjoying the stream sorry about the errors that you're getting but you know we'll we'll have a uh, fish show up eventually and try to help you out and of course thank you very much for the prime stuff much appreciate your support goes a long way thank you for coming in with that and with that said you now have access you now have access to the og3 bears and a what bear what bear corn bear and kawaii bear so please enjoy them to your liking and thank you very much for your support i hope you enjoy the streams and you know the community that we have that's really what it's about so thank you very much really appreciate it i really do i just feel a little bit bad because you know we haven't been able to solve your problem and that's kind of the thing that i just you know and unfortunately there's nothing i can exactly do about that in terms of uh you know so but i appreciate it you know Hey, at least at the very least i can entertain you so anyways with that said we continue so now we go to the assassin guild we talk to the npc to learn the uh-huh uh uh-huh uh -huh. okay uh-huh Oh, now you got venom knife all right so so now we're gonna be heading on over to this meal God, I have to go back and uh have to bring it back, man. There right, I continue DM for I have a question for you private. Okay, sure. Uh send it via DM. <sighs> Alright, so back to the pyramids we go. We have to go to Sphinx for this part, so.
goodness. This is going to be fun. Back to the pyramids we go. All right. Just, just flowering there. Just. So we have to go into Sphinx. Hopefully we don't run into an MVP because people like to pop branches here for whatever reason. We have to go to the second floor. It's uh, quite the track, honestly. So there's two places we can get a gemstone. Uh, Sonic acceleration. Uh, it's either up. Uh, we're here. We can go to this location here. I need coffee too. It'd be funny if I died to the um, to the matchers. I need coffee too, actually, but gotta do this first. not this one i guess the one on the left side It's intended to be like that. I could probably wrap coffee while this sleep thing is going, but. Okay, try this again. At least the match is going to help me here. If it doesn't Sonic blow and kill me, that is. But uh, yes.
Whoa, 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 okay, okay. I will take that back. You're not gonna help me. At least the tornado is not as violent. Hey, Aiko, how are you? Rid of this thing first. Try again. Is this right? Something feels off about this. It's just that one up there. Okay. Hmm. I guess it's the same thing. Hey, I got the ruby. All right, cool. All right, so now that we got the ruby, we're going to be going back. At least it wasn't an irreversible decision like the booster weapon, so. Yeah, I, I don't know, but uh, yeah, I, I am having a good stream so far. Yes, I am having a good stream. I was saying, I don't know, to the idea of the high bear. Cause I don't know how to how to how I would want the pot to look like. I don't know. I I, I don't know. I'm. Mm, I want them to. It's just I feel bad asking. I think we have. A, I asked for a lot ever since I started streaming two months ago. You know, I asked for quite a bit, and you know, it was done. And I, you know, I couldn't be more grateful for the ones that we have. So. I guess I could probably ask. It's just I don't know how to see the Grandpa Bear emotes. Hmm. The high bear, at least the high bear would be nice. The the Grandpa Bear would also be good. That's why you don't do water dungeon. Wait. What do you mean that's why I don't do water dungeon? Because I can't read. I can't read instructions. I did not read the instructions for the quest and therefore we uh, are not doing overlook dungeon because I cannot read. I am, I am, <laughs> I don't know anymore. <laughs> All right, great. Now we're going to be going back to Geffen. We're going to go ahead and start leveling. Set request. We're gonna go ahead and change this out of the quest window. So let's see how well can we do with one sonic blow without anything. Oh, we can one shot without the converter. Wow, by a long shot. Wait a second. Oh, please tell me we can one shot the a dark priest. If we can one shot dark priest. Oh, that's gonna be so insane. Yeah, that's gonna be insane. Make a mob, make a mob. Oh, of course, you can't hide from... Uh, <laughs> you can't hide from Heaven's Drive. What am I doing? Okay, let me just set up my stuff in a better manner to not uh, be so lost here. I'm not gonna use this, we're not gonna use this, we're gonna use this, we're gonna use this over here. Okay, there we go. Now that's better. All right, round two. I could probably make it with the fire elements converted to that one, but. Hmm. 
we're gonna be making adjustments to our hotkeys i think i really ought to just put my hiding grim tooth up here there we go that'll be better The one shot sonic blow with just a metal weapon and nothing else. That's just pretty interesting. Because now all we're doing is just Wraith. Finish the Wraith quest, turn it in. And oops. Yes, I've been I reached South Carolina, but your son you're still a sin. Pick up your pass. Oh my god, you're in North Carolina? Okay, okay, okay. I can only go so fast, man. I can only go so fast. Alright, we're gonna go back to Geffen, turn this in and go back. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. Two levels. Okay, sure, sure. Yeah, give me the link. It's appropriate, right? <laughs> of course it would be. Why would it not be? Yeah, sure. By all means, just uh, send it over and uh, I'll post it. get your sand, hands on some good good stuff yeah man come on over yeah that's kind of creepy i'll set, set request yada 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 go back to that time awesome I, I can't stop looking at it. it's just okay i can't i can't help but notice just that it captures the essence of the silly bears i call them silly bears it just captures the essence it's so perfect it's so cute it's just it all right so yes sonic blood does just quite a bit of sp 34 SP is very heavy on the consumption, so if you were to one shot start crease with this, mm, yeah, you'd be asking for a lot of SP potions. Would the quest skill help do more damage? It could probably do that. Because I wasn't expecting that much damage with Sonic Blow in the first place, so... It could be. It could be. A sleep time. Thanks for the follow. Hope you join the stream. Oh, I need to kill with Dredd. Whoops. All right, this is complete. We're going to go back to town, turn it in. I would hope you could one shot. Just 34 SP is very hefty. So I think it would be more of a... Um, this is the amount of agility we would use. Uh, we would see how many points of strength we would need. 
and see if we would have to start investing into intelligence instead again under the booster conditions I like how it sounds off double. I'm gonna go back, pick up the quest again, and do it again. Well, well, wait, that's without the skill. No, this is with the quest skill. This is with the quest skill. Fly wing, fly wing. This this dialogue is so weird. Psst. Hey you, you wanna get your hands on some great stuff? Come on over. That's really suspicious. Very sus, as the kids would say these days. I can't imagine having to level up the sage without the um exp boost that's gonna be painful maybe i should have done the sage today and finish it tomorrow morning <laughs> but it's probably gonna be very similar leveling level 86 and then go to um rowens with the heaven's drive or something It looks doable, right? Because uh, all things considered, man, I just out tap into Google Chrome and have the bear up there. Um, so anyways, as I was saying, I already be wiki dark priests. They take 200% damage from fire elements. So, you know, damage should be doubled. But we're, we're only going to see once we're closer to, uh, you know, the level, the level range. <laughs> I, I i saw that and i didn't think anything i was like oh yeah one shot uh dark priest yeah yeah we could we could probably do that and i just read it again you're like one shot omg typing like wait what do you mean i'm like oh that's what you meant Ugh. so slow Don't get your hopes up though because we're not doing all that much more damage with 10 strength so because by proxy you're getting my hopes up oh fire converter where's the fire converter at oh wait i don't have to use the fire converter what am i talking about I screwed that one up. I screwed that one up, Roiling. Ah, oh, God. Anyways. Anyways, it happens. Mistakes happen. Okay. Sorry, Aiko. Yeah. 
anyways you heard it from north america you heard it from the bear uh, stream so yeah but anyways it's meant yeah it's meant to because it's for an, yeah i know it's for an emergency that's what i'm saying that i know people may have had next to them but if you listen to the stream and you hear it off it's like oh crap you know it sounds like alerting it sounds alarming or by county okay i i cannot imagine Oof. anyways we're all back to normal now One hundred phones going off at once. Oh, uh, that would be annoying. That would be very annoying. Could you imagine doing one shot with Sonic Blow? That would be so cool. Anyways, oh look, there's a lot of uh, people druids and raids here. Look at that. They all want to come out and play. How nice. Yeah, why screw that one up? Okay. We're all together now. I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. Whoa! I did not got him. I did not got him. They got me. All right. We're going to use Awakening Potion, Teleport, and just, just Sonic Blood and Teleport. try level six yeah i am meant to be some i kept it by accident all right let's keep trying level six I forgot to put a point here. Alright. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go back to town. Let's go turn this quest in, get our EXP, and keep going on. What's with Gormun Dungeon? Does your other phone connect? Oh my god. Hmm. Oh, let's pick up the bounty boards while we're at it. Some extra EXP, Dark Priest. Evil Druid and Raid. Cool. Teleporting, teleporting. ZZ. Go back, repeat the quest. I'm not talking to that guy, but more strength because maybe sonic blow is the way <sighs> so anyone no phone reception in caves hmm so any, anyways how's everyone doing today aside from shook from the alarm how are you what are you guys up to in the midst of me having to do all of this leveling. A doodling for my Canadian Thanksgiving offline picture. That's cute. 
I'm good, brother. Just driving northbound. Yep. Driving northbound to PA. Finally got Aro to work, and now I'm wondering which character I should work on. Oh, well, if you want to make a character, you know where to ask. Now, remember, I don't know when the EXP event's going to end, but if you want to get through th third class right away, if you make a Rune Knight, you're going to hit Rune Knight really fast. I'm also doing some using as a background noise right now, trying to catch up in commissions. Oh, that's cool. I really like your art, by the way. So, I thought that I would say it myself again, but every time I out tab, I see the bear on the Discord. I just post it on there. So, it's just really cute. I know, I know, I know. Just, just saying that it's cute. I like it. I got another 10 hours. I don't know how many hours I have. I'm just estimating. I don't know how to pronounce the engine next or hmm. well thanks for the follow hope you join the stream <sighs> maybe maybe uh grim tooth is a little too noisy All right, so I'm going to turn this quest in and then I'm going to go get up and start my coffee machine, take a little quick break, stretch, and uh, we will pick it up. So I don't know if I can take a break when Rooster is driving up north, so. I need to rest for 10 hours. 12 to 2 p.m. tomorrow. Okay. So technically, if I wake up early enough tomorrow morning, I can get to Guillotine Cross by then. That's my guess. That's what I'm thinking is going to happen. Maybe. We're gonna turn this quest in. I'm gonna go grab some coffee and uh, stretch. Four hours in, level 80 something. I think it's okay, but I'm just uh, concerned. I'm just concerned we're not gonna. Yeah, yeah, we'll finish. We'll finish. I'm just gonna hide in this corner here real quick. Now. But I didn't get a, I, I, it wasn't happening because I had an AE chemistry. It was happening way before I got the AE chemistry. So don't worry, you're fine. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> so the thing was that I, I started learning that you have to understand the concepts from the bottom up to do things properly, not just learn how to solve one problem and just go with that the entire try to write that the entire way you have to understand things from the very basics and build on up you have to understand the concepts behind each idea you know do you have derivatives do you have integrals and each time you do one of those they always start off with the basic uh with the basic uh you know basic examples and it builds up into polynomials and then they start using trigonometric functions on there and then inverse trigonometric functions i'm off a few need to watch the champions league all right then, Rooster, thanks for stopping by. Gracias por platicar y espero que tengas un maravilloso día, compa. Dos días, okay, dos horas, dos horas, never mind. Aquí te, aquí te esperamos, no te preocupes, aquí te esperamos. So, what do you think? To, uh, no, I don't think so. But yeah, so... I learned that every single problem, from the mechanics standpoint, from the concepts, there's different ways to solve one type of problem. And then there's another concept and there's so many different types of problems you can find within that concept so i started learning things from the bottom up instead of just trying to take a shortcut and just try to get the answer which eventually led me 
to you know um i eventually uh, I, I never stopped playing ro but i got into renewal and i started applying those ideas into renewal because there's so many there's so many uh there's so many ideas there's so many concepts there's so many ways to go about something there's so many ways skills work so i started learning renewal because i was taking that approach and then I had seen streaming was a thing that was starting up back in like 2015. I knew some people that were participating in tournaments that were being streamed. And I was like, okay, that's really interesting. That's really cool. I think I can do something like this. I always wanted to, I mean, personally, I keep that inside. I always wanted to be an actor. I wanted to be in that kind of entertainment. But, you know, and I liked the idea of streaming. And I never got into it until much later. Now, the reason why I stream IRO is because, one, um, I remember seeing how they're releasing mobile games uh, their stock price went up new servers were being opened up in southeast asia and i was like okay I, there's gonna be quite an audience for what is ragnarok renewal so maybe you know going on irl because i hear it so bad may be a good idea to to start off on because one i can be genuine about the game i actually enjoy it second i understand the game i understand the mechanics of the game and i can apply them of course there's some things that i may get right may not get right i mean i may get right may get wrong for example, some people know things that I don't know, and that's perfectly fine. Like for example, yesterday I showed I, I was I learned about uh, slash show cosplay on Ringy Stream, and I did not know that before. We get rid of the dress for when you get married. That's very interesting. I ran out of SP, but I level I finished the quest before I um, uh, before I ran out or I ran out of uh, SP and come back to town to kill up and go back. Uh, so press sixty-six point six percent XP. So anyways, so what does that have to do with anything? Um, yeah, how did I get here? Oh yeah, chemistry, chemistry, everything starts from chemistry and the radio station thing. That's right, the radio station. So I, uh, you know, by career, I'm a chemist and there's all of these things that eventually led me to be here in a way. And yeah, I will say that Radio station might be interesting, but this is kind of like the closest thing we have to a radio station. It, it, it probably is good to put intelligence. What I want to do is try um, Dark Priest and see if I can one shot them. If not, I, I might just, uh, you know, do try a different approach to leveling. But yeah. And yeah, so that's kind of, you know, how I do the streams. That's why I try to place an emphasis on games mechanics from a mechanical standpoint. It's not just testing things, but it's more like i understand this part of the game so can i do this with what i got am i understanding what i gotta do or oh my god we can almost one shot without the elemental converter i i'm not putting any cards in my weapon if you want to put anything you can put whatever you want but oh my god we can almost one shot without freaking uh converter this is it. This might be it. All right, let's go. Let's get a converter. Okay, so let's just try level 10 like this. Yeah, easy. Wow. Okay, if we use elemental converter, we can cut down the amount of SP that we use. Can we do it level 5? Can we do level 5? No, it has to be level 6. All right, cool. And then for the Wraith and Druids, we can probably use level 3. I honestly, I don't think you got to put a card in your metal weapon. You're going to be fine without it. The last thing I want is for people to start relying on trying to put a card. Look at this. What? Why would you need a card? You can just one shot. You can just one shot. Easy. Easy. But you were to put anything you can put i mean honestly you can put a size card me uh you know more damage versus medium monsters uh more damage versus undead if you're in the level here you can lower the level of your um uh sonic blow if you need be but oh my god this is great bro i just started this assassin today i started literally i started this character literally four hours and 50 minutes ago there is no excuse man where are you leveling right now? What level are you? What are you doing right now? Talk to me. I'll, I'll make it easy for you. And I say it like this because, you know, it's working. It's working, bro. It's working. 
My sin is 70. Okay. Bro, come on. Look at this. Just look at this. Are you a booster character, by the way, by any chance? Or nah? Okay. So I leveled up at uh, Bon Guns and Munox, and I also killed Archer Skeletons and whatnot. I farmed the skeleton bones and red herbs, and I, that paid for my uh, for my elemental converters. Go to the market, just see what people are buying. If people are buying hair, if people are buying, you know, whatever. Uh, just farm those items, and get a converter. But level it together with your mouth. Okay, see what's gonna happen. Level on your own. Get to level seventy-one and do the eating group leveling quest. You can tell up. You can use warp portal actually. Get your monk to get you the war portal to the entrance of, of uh, St. Abbey in Glass Time and get your assassin to do this quest. You can kill the monsters with level 10 uh, Sonic Glow and you also have to do this quest. I am wiki Sonic Acceleration. You go do this quest with your assassin. Oh my god, it's gonna be so it's gonna be so easy, bro. I'm I'm not even kidding. Do this. Oh my god, it's I'm um, I'm having a really good time. That's I'm just really hyped up about this. This is now a Sonic Blow ASMR stream. But yeah, so that's why I started doing all of these things from the you know mechanical standpoint because of my background in chemistry. Chemists do everything from concepts. You gotta understand every single way to go about a problem. When people ask me about the game, I have to understand their perspective, what they know, and move from there because not everybody knows everything. And I have to quote unquote assess the situation before I can proceed. And that's kind of what's high with streaming. It's a, it's a problem solving approach. So when I started, before I started streaming. Oh yeah, but the 71 to 85 quest for Glass Time is just like directly teleporting you to um, uh, in front of St. Abbey. Kill 10 monsters back and forth. Race and Evil Druids, two monsters in one. Pasana, you have to travel three floors before you get to Pasanas. The, um, the Race and Evil Druid are right there in the same floor. You know what I'm saying? level 71 i started at level 71 get sonic flow level 10 get these quests and then you do the uh i think i posted just recently you start doing this quest at level 71 uh here we go only only Wraith and Evil Druid talk to the board in Eden and select all. Only do Wraith and Evil Druid turn in and go back to the Eden group, talk to board, select all, and talk to girl again and go back to glass time. Just like that. Bro, if you see me, okay, no, you don't need the one, you don't need the one-handed mastery, right hand or left hand. If you see me one-shotting with this, you don't need them at all. It doesn't affect your uh, sonic blow damage. My God, this is just great. Evil Druids is really the peak, uh, peak leveling here. The game has been solved, ladies and gentlemen. There is no need for alarm. Bears got you. Bears got you. So, anyways, bro, come on, step back here. Let's go with Alamnok. A ver, a ver, a ver. Espera, bro, come on, step para que entre el juego con la nueva actualización. ¿Tienes algún problema entrando con la nueva actualización?
¿Tienes problemas entrando con la nueva actualización? I'm using the novice fly wings. I'm oh, sorry, beginner's fly wings. You buy these in the um, in the tool dealer. You can only use them up to level 98. Le level 99, you can no longer use them. Uh, be estás, en el, estás en el Discord. Estás en la cueva del oso. I guess I can make a map here. Probably try it. Soon. Nope, I cannot. Ahora entre, ok, ahí pregunta y danos tu error. Otro lugar que puedes entrar es IRO Wiki Discord, pero allí hay gente que tiene diferentes problemas y estamos tratando de solucionarlos. They can't see through. Oh, they can. Wow, they are demons. I thought they were undead. Wow, look at me, bear. It's very smart bear. Look at me. Very smart bear. I was thinking, oh, they're undead. They can't see. They're demon. Anyways, so yeah, so uh, back to the thing I was talking about. Because Ringy mentioned I could do uh, work at a radio station, which would be interesting, but I don't know if I can do that. That's, um, I guess this, I guess this is my radio station, December uh, channel, so. But yeah. Ah, chemistry. I love chemistry. And when we're talking about languages, uh, I go ahead and mention mixing up three different languages. So yeah, uh, there's something that we call, um, I want to address that particular part because I, that comment stood out to me because there is something I feel people probably know this already, but we have Spanglish. Mixing the Spanish and English more common than we think, of course. The, the language since I could mention is different. It just reminded me of the concept of Spanish because I remember when I was little, I mixed up both English and Spanish and no one had any idea what the hell I was talking about. Same for Denglish. Oh, really? So many German names and stuff. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Wow. So much damage. These guys are very violent. What am I doing here? What am I doing? Oh yeah, life potions. That's right, life potions. Oh, I used up Sonic Blue by accident. Ah, wasting my... Alright, let's use another blessing. Actually, we don't have to use blessing edge. We can just use the red booster. Oh, wow. So wild to me, you can one shot with, uh, with assassin here. Was Milky here all along? Wow, one full level. Look at that. Honestly, just get to level 98. Use the regular one. What's the name on the bounty board? I mean, on the bounty. What's the name on the uh, tombstone? Maybe I turned away when he was uh, jumping around. I did see someone on the screen when I was... Uh, Writing the instructions. There's one more thing I wanted to cover. Because I covered the 16.1, uh, 16.2, 17.1, 17.2 before. But I did want to do how the airship works, amongst others. The Illusion series as well. Just kind of read the stories from there. Although we've done it before, but. I'm still waiting for more. And yeah, I, I do have that in mind. 
maybe um i don't know i still want to cover the other booster characters but i never have to one more question please if you need battle manual the timer stops if you log out Yeah, are you planning to use a battle menu right now? Just I'm just asking because you 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 keep mentioning it. I just want to be sure that uh you at least optimize your time if you're gonna be using it. Okay, cool. The only time I really use the battle menu is when I rebirth and I'm doing the mercenary leveling. And then the only other time I use it is when I'm stacking quests to get to job 70. Those are the only two times that I've ever found using a uh battle manual has been worthwhile other times just feels like i'm i could just be doing the same leveling regardless of battle manual or not so every time i rebirth if you haven't been watching the streams every time i rebirth i buy mercenaries before i rebirth i buy mercenaries let me start over every time i'm about to rebirth i buy mercenaries the mercenaries scrolls and we have an ai that makes it uh uh be aggressive so it uses brandish spear on on the ant eggs so I pretty much start leveling from level one with a mercenary and the mercenary does all the work. If you want to see it in action. Okay. Yeah. If you want to see it in action, you can see me uh, do the mercenary leveling yesterday with the acolytes to mount to champion and see how fast and straightforward it is. It's very, very ridiculous. BC. I don't even, I don't even have to move myself. I just let the character do all the work. All right, then. If you're good, then that means you know it, then. Good. It's good. You did that. All right. Perfect. Perfect. And now I only I have level 10. Okay. Yeah, that's different. But yeah. That's different from how I do it. But you probably has like bowling bash or something, I think. No, the Ruchi card. No problem. With as little as 40 zenny for each try, you can save yourself a lot of zenny by utilizing a green potion instead of a, uh, you know, a Ruchi card. Did you know that? I sure did it. I sure did. Hmm. Oh yeah, no. They they can't afford it. They can't afford it either way, either one, so. No, 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 you don't you don't get it. We we're talking about the summer fact. Uh I was talking about how uh summer cups are born blind and deaf. And they continue to be blind for a very long time. Well 50 days total. So I don't need the car, we're just talking about something. And I will rarely ever, ever ask anyone for anything here. Just so you guys know. Don't lose your map. Don't, don't lose your converter there. Don't lose your converter. I know you want to kill that stack of monsters, but you don't want to lose your converter either. Be smart. Be smart. But not me. I asked for I asked him for 25 million zenny on a daily basis. <sighs> you probably do. I have no way to confirm this, but you probably do. I'm just joking.
perfect we made uh let's see 254,000 zenny not bad not bad at all good haul good haul i'm gonna go ahead and buy 50 oh my god so my zenny buy uh, uh uh 30 blue syrups and just have them available for us now if you'll excuse me we're hitting the six hour in the stream right now i'm gonna go ahead and just uh turn in this dark priest bounty board don't mind Level 94, look at that. Level 94. Dark Priest Bounty Board really is the solution to all this. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. But how am I ahead if you started, if I started when you were 88? Yeah, there's no other place. Dark Priest is the place. Oh, look, loot on the floor. Ringy would be proud of me. I picked up the loot off the ground. Oh my god, I think that's a battle uh, scholar. Look at that. Thank you. What class are you, by the way? Are you, are you, are you assassin or what? Yeah, I still feel as though, uh, you know, Assassin just does really well with the rework Sonic Blow. It's just incredibly good. I know that uh well I i'm thinking that the way people made it work was that they had other equipment that allowed them to uh use the whole thing with ease Yeah, I think I stand by my approach with the class.
Well, you're talking about the um Oh, are you talking about the scuba gear to get the uh uninterruptible casting time? Uninterruptible casting, I should say. Okay So the only way that's gonna happen is if you can one shot with Venice Splasher and elements converter And even if you were to make a mob of dark priest or you say you're gonna level somewhere else then you know Unless you say magma dungeon then that's no because magma dungeon is probably the only thing that can beat all of this honestly But I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got the quest. I got to pick up the quest, too. I think the counter still goes if you if you are in a party and you're in even share I think the um, the count still goes you still get the counter We're gonna use the uh, level seven now because oh loot on the ground do, 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 do. No, I keep title points to go find something else. Oh, oh, oh you're, you're talking about low TI. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you pretty much go in a party and you set uh, even share and you do the thing and you teleport around and it counts. It works with Magnus Exorcisms as well. Actually, Remus can probably try it. I I think you can still do it even without the even share, but I think that's how it works. I remember showcasing that once upon a time with uh, GX, I mean not GX, the uh, assassin. I think it was at Hoats where I did that. But that is a legit way to level. Man, I think even without the uh, booster, you can still one shot with like a jam at heart or something. That'd be kind of crazy if you could, which I'm pretty sure you could because the attack difference is not that great. to convert a fire and off we go again Bottom right, there's a ring on the floor. Who isn't picking up the loot? Wait, I was right there. I was bear, bear, bear. What are you doing? Bear. Oh, there you are. There you are. There you are. Ring on the floor. Good job, bear. Done it. That'll pay for two blue syrups. 
I bet Ring is proud of me right now. Oh, but yes. Money on the floor. That's right. Good job, Bear. So much better for me. You even... I don't need any. Exactly. I just... Uh... I, I NPC them, though. Believe it or not, I NPC them. It's actually uh, cost efficient. Yeah, boy, let's go. I got the ring approval. I'm proud of you, disappointing of anyone else. Yes, as long as I'm winning, that's what matters. Without the power booster using level uh level eight sonic blow so just fyi elements converter is just sufficient okay i'm not attacking for some reason i'm not attacking uh i gotta go back over here for whatever reason my character was not at uh casting uh sonic blow so i gotta go back with it because i left some stuff on the ground Wait, did somebody pick it up? Did somebody? Oh, no, it's over there. Okay. At least a skull. At the very least, a skull. All right, so there's a big mob coming this way. I got way too many hard priests on me. Of course, more intelligence, better SP healing, and we're gonna open up the level 90 box, and we have another 60 potions we can use. Good for us. Good for us. It's looking good. How could you? dark priest already we're probably gonna turn this in before we're probably gonna level up before we turn this in actually i can already see it winning feels good man yep
man. Actually, I do wonder how early am I going to be waking up tomorrow? Will you change the leveling spot if so late? Eh, I don't think so. I don't think there's another bounty board reward that gives you this much experience or this other monsters that give you this much experience. If you had no, um, if you had no bounty boards where you're from, you probably do a uh, Mac Marines at level 95. That's probably your next best option. But this is actually manageable, so. The SP cost is doubled though. Yeah, no, I don't think, I don't think I would. Mm, no, I tried doing turtle dungeon and I did it yesterday and I feel I, I think I took longer to level up my uh my champion because of that because I went I went to other dungeons to try to train with bounty boards but I think focusing on one monster is actually rather good. Yeah, SP cost is doubled. And right now I'm using level seven to reduce I'm using the buffs we get from the um booster event to reduce the cost. If I wasn't doing the booster event, I would probably be saving up on uh for SP potions to use that instead. You know, so mm, that's because that what I don't know. Getting tough out here. All right, let's go fight some uh, evil druids, get them uh, banner board counts, and then go back to the men. We'll probably hit level 96 from that so that's kind of good and then we're gonna move forward with what we got so It's a huge drop from uh, level two to level three. All right, whoever gets him gets him. I'm out. Ooh, I don't know. Sounds like a tough offer. So we're going to turn this in. Let's see. 
14.9 to 24.9 of the next level. Very nice. Items in the ground. Money. That's right. There's a lot of loot right there. Ooh. Looking good. That is like a fairly dangerous spot. Orleans gown. Wait, just one or multiple? Okay, very nice. Very nice. Just there, got my booster priest 90. Forgot I had your bot, your mage bot on. Hoping to get to AB by tomorrow. We'll be back to work for now. All right. Sounds good. I think the XP event ends tomorrow based on the forum post, but uh, if it does end, at least have your characters made just in case the booster stuff also goes away. I don't know if that's confirmed. Uh, might as well just get your character account and open up the first box at least because i think only box level one and the other ones except 15 get deleted for whatever reason 15 doesn't uh, get counted in last time they deleted all booster boxes that was not in there why i don't know but but that's the way it goes
Oh, okay. That makes sense. Closer, getting closer. But yeah, um, I don't know if the bush event uh, ends for whatever reason. Let's just talk about the possibility. Not saying it's gonna happen, we just don't know yet. But should the booster series ends, is it worth getting into the other characters made? Or because then again, if the booster series ends and I post the videos. You know, does that is that still gonna help anybody or hmm. are we gonna start, are we gonna have to start doing different things now because you know on second thought maybe the bots should have been posted. I mean we have the Discord community, the IR Wiki Discord. We have people that stop by here, so it's helped those people for sure. Um I think I could get into a, um, I think I could get into endless tower with my, uh, dragon birth rune knights. Maybe that could be a new thing that we can start looking forward to. It's just a bunch of endless tower runs. Which again, I don't know how entertaining that'll be, but it's more like a, you know, Hey, we're back to hunting MVP cards and. We got these characters and we want to do this before the uh you know there's updates relating to this actually teleport out because we're out of potions oh very nice spot but i want the yellow potion Wow, 24,000 damage with a uh, sonic blow. That is crazy. Feels very wrong, honestly. To be this kind of strong, yeah, it feels wrong because I never seen that kind of strong before.
surprising to me how efficient i mean maybe because we have a slightly boosted rate but still surprising to me how efficient uh leveling here has become well not efficient maybe it's always been that good but we never really uh focus on this map but we focus on stacking bounty board quests or we focus on gramps but outside of gramps this is a really good map and i really think a lot of people would benefit from knowing how to level up a character without ramps understanding you know the general leveling scheme Very nice. Yeah, I think I will be missing the uh, EXP boost. Top left has a lot of uh, dark trees that I should probably go for. Man, I'm almost level 97. This is great. This is really good. All right. So what do you guys? Well, actually. So tomorrow there is maintenance. You guys know I don't do streams on maintenance day, but this was an exception because it's the assassin stream. 
I think I'm going to just keep up the same strong approach in terms of leveling. I'm still going to do the same thing I did with uh, with the other characters. This time, I'm not going to be stacking quests. I'm going to just come straight to Glassheim. I think Glassheim really is the place to level up at. Other places have been, you know, if you want to do something different, it's understandable. But you tend to kind of get distracted. And I really think Glassheim... Uh, Dark Priest is really uh, one of the best options possible as a booster character and even without booster the experience is still great So yes, I think I have to do some further analysis on the current markets in the game What is you know profitable? What is profitable? What is used? What is used? What cannot be used? But I, I can't rely on the same person buying the skeleton bones every single time However, there is a usage for skeleton bones but everything has to be really tied into, uh, you know, crafting and how it works and whatnot. Maybe even encourage people to open up buy shop instead of just farming it themselves, you know? Kind of move the economy around a little, you know? Give the economy a little twirl and a spin and, uh, you know, make it move. Ooh, ring. I love being cursed. There we go. Oh, I think I okay. Something just came to mind that I uh I'll talk about later, but that's what reports right now. Man. Not sleepy, but oh man. But yeah, so it's kind of interesting because you know, without booster, you are actually farming stuff to uh buy potions to spam your skills, right? So you kind of get into this idea of like, okay, if I'm going to be leveling, I also should be making Zenny. If I'm going to be doing certain things, I could use a little bit of a uh, initial, you know, start on my, uh, you know, my little war chest to, you know, buy potions and continue leveling. We have the fortune of leveling up the booster characters. And I think the booster character content will be relevant the next booster event that comes around. So I think it might be worth noting. That is, you know, for future, you know, proofing stuff. You know, this works for the future stuff. Uh, Ragnarok Renewal doesn't exactly change all that much for the 1 to 99 phase. So we are in decent uh, standing with what we got. The only thing that really changed is probably the Paradise quest. But, I mean, that's a whole other story. Because we can still level up at the maps that we went to. We just uh, made it a little bit faster by telling people, hey, you know what, these quests exist. If the quests don't exist and just keep leveling at the maps, it's just, you know, extra EXP you can take advantage of. So. When you, yeah, I, you still have it. There's people that make characters in 2021 and they still have the free resets. Even outside of the event, so you should be fine. And if you don't have it for whatever reason, then, you know, at least just know that the information we have changed but you should be able to do so anyway so don't worry too much on it the the free resets are there just in case you really need them it's not like a you gotta be resetting every single time and usually the resets are usually most necessary sorry let me say you really only need the resets when you have a different acquisition in equipment that makes you change your build entirely 
or you have cash gear that changes your um skills that you need to have so because there are cash gears that you know ask for different re uh skill requirements to get bonuses from them so yeah all right i'm gonna go back turn this in like bounty boards 30 percent about very nice <sighs> i can see it i can see it just a little bit of extra exp to go around but you know it just helps but dark priest map is very good highly recommend um if any character can fight dark priest i would really recommend it I mean, then the, probably, probably. If I started in Wired Dungeon, maybe I would probably believe that. Yeah, because one time I remember one time I mentioned Overlook Water Dungeon and someone told me, but I don't have VIP. And I'm like, oh man. Or they or I recommend it to somebody and they stay they came back and they say they didn't do it because they didn't have VIP. And it's like, hmm. And I'm pretty sure I explained the whole magical resistance thing. I'm almost sure. But eh. Right, get in there. We get in there. I remember somebody on um IR Wiki Discord said they had like three fan cards that people were buying fan cards and they went and did uh Overlook Water Dungeon and <laughs> then when it was time to sell cards nobody was buying the card it's just like disappointing which ah, that sucks honestly if you're interested in that there's um I have leveling guides now there's a bit of a stuff a bit of stuff going on right now so there was an announcement that the exp event was going to end very shortly maybe tomorrow so should be ending tomorrow should be unless for whatever reason they leave it on they forgot to turn it off or whatever which we don't know if that's the case then that's good but if the exp event was to end the leveling uh the speed at which you level up is going to take longer than what i'm doing right now that's my guess maybe a couple of hours more or less give or take uh two three hours let's race to you start no, no no i'm not here for the race uh so if you're gonna be leveling i advise advise you to make your character right now you can make three okay so there's a bit of an explanation for this you can make three ro game accounts for every war portal account in case you're interested in getting started because there's this thing called booster event which i mentioned you start with a box it gives you some basic gears and it also gives you potions that you can use to level up and all that good stuff. Oh my god, it's Milky! Wow, that was fast, dude. <laughs> 557, 558. You got here in less than a minute. I just... I DM you less than a minute ago, and you're already here. What the hell? Anyways. So, 
uh the booster events so you make a novice in the game account and then you register the account and you get a character added to it it's gonna have a really weird name but you can rename it now that character is gonna be given some items and some potions and the box opens up every 15 every 15 levels i leveled up a knight to level 100 you know the whole rebirth thing and stuff i explained it took me about seven hours six and a half to seven hours is what it took me it was the fastest leveling character all the other characters are taking me about 12 to 16 hours so if you want to make a character uh, you probably could try getting into the uh you know the knights the knight is a pretty strong character uh it does the builds that i recommended do fall off after 150 it starts getting slower at 160 but such is the nature of certain builds however it's the quote-unquote most cheapest build possible you can make so with that said with that in mind Uh, you can give it a try. I have the character guides like, explaining everything that I do. I show every process, every step of the way. And if you have questions about the game's mechanics or anything else, you can always consult me. Uh, my DMs are open for asking questions related to the game and leveling and all that stuff because that's exactly what I'm doing right now. And I think people enjoy that particular, you know, aspect of the of the stream. So. But yeah um what can i tell you if you want to try it no pressure you don't have to try you want to not your cup of tea you don't have to drink it perfectly fine but you know if you're interested in trying it out oh, that that very little exp come on guys you gotta be kidding me it's gonna get worse once the exp rate goes down anyways Yeah, it's brutal. It's brutal. Uh, that attack buff item is the red event red booster. You get a bit more attack, 30 attack and whatnot. You can still use uh, level 8 sonic blow to one shot. I'm just doing this to save myself DSP because it's part of the booster. That's a classic. Certified. <laughs> Certified classic right there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's, it's cool. You can make you can do the same without the booster. You just gotta use a level eight. The, is that Smokey the Bear? One time Smokey the Bear saw me and says, "Now nah, I gotta find you, bro. Why? He saw, he saw my he saw my uh, my GX and Genesis gameplay. He's like, nah, bro, you're on fire. I gotta find you. That's like, it was just a Turtle General card. Come on, man. Nah, gotta find you. Not like this, Smokey. Come on, man. Oh, oh, oh. So just because Sun Bear, you think I'm going to set things on fire, huh? Is that how it is? Hmm. I liked it before you became a ranger. You used to be cool. I'm level 30 already. Yeah, well. Yeah, but how much stuff are you using? Are you making brand new? 69 to go? Oh, no, you're catching up. This is not good. Not good. I have to wake up early tomorrow morning just to, uh, just to get to, uh, 99. So you're at Overlook Water Dungeon right now, I'm guessing. All right. So you are at, uh, Overlook then.
All right. Oh yeah, poison spores. People do buy poison spores. I think it's about the same. Yeah, there's the shop in Alberta that buys them. I usually sell mine from the uh, sunken ship. Interesting how the uh, how the uh, economy picked up lately. In a way, in a way, I'm talking about all the extra stuff they can sell to people nowadays. And more people buying hairs, more people buying the skeleton stuff, more people buying the uh, red herbs, which are pretty decent in terms of any. For new East any, it's pretty decent. Yep, lots of players came back for the fourth class. Yep. Yeah, it's interesting though. It's interesting because I noticed the uh, the increase in players is at a different time zone than the usual time zone we're in. In the morning, there's a lot more players. I think they're from uh, Southeast Asia. I think. Because in the late night, there's also a lot of players as well. So I'm very certain that's where uh, a lot of the player base is, uh, is coming from these days. Because during the daytime over here, mm, number usually tends to window down a little. Four point three. Yeah, eight PM and later, absolutely. But Rooster is making a thief, a booster thief, and he's leveling at the Overlook Water Dungeon. So, ah, uh, Wraith card. Okay, whatever. I, I'm gonna, I finished the Dark Priest. I'm going to turn it in. I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to turn it in right now. Got to go fast. Gotta go fast. I'm gonna pick up the I'm gonna pick up the bounty board for when I rebirth. All right, we're gonna be buying uh incre HP increase. I said HP increase HP increase. Yeah, HP increase. But wow, 10 case any for HP increase potion. I'll take that. Goodness, bless this person. I'm gonna buy four of these. You wanna teleport to the top left of Prontera? You don't have to wear as long as your skill points. Now, this is the part that matters. If you have, you have the Zenny Fred, you should have the Zenny Fred farm before you do this. 
HP increase portion large. It'll increase the amount of max HP you have. Your novice will need it. It will use it. Mercenary Guild Manager. Hire mercenary from this location specifically. Six great mercenary. Buy one. You buy two. You buy three. You buy four. You don't know how many you'll need, but that means you have two hours worth of mercenary time on it. You you run out of SP, you will be using some of these potions. Buy at least five of them. Get yourself at least five. Hey, I'm going to get 10 because I'm going to be spending the skill a lot. Red potion, I'll probably get five just in case the mercenary still stays alive. And the rest of it will be pocket change for you to use. So with that said, remember, four I recommend six mercenary scrolls. I'm going to get four for the sake of Zenny. 10 blue potions, five red potions, just to keep your mercenary, you know, alive or get some SP so you can actually manage to do your things. Because if you don't uh, have SP or HP and it dies, if it dies, you're, you're going to lose the mercenary. But if you have the SP, you can keep using skills. If you lose SP, use the blue potion, heal it up with SP, and it'll keep using the skills. So now we're going to talk to the uh, manager. You have your third class, oh, sorry, not third class, your rebirth, transcendent job change tickets. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Yes, we're going to go ahead, prerequisites. Yes, change my job. So now you're going to rebirth. Now, you can open up the mercenary scrolls. You can use one. Use the HP increase potion. 80 HP to 2,583. Use your high adventure stuff because that's what's good. That's what's good. And now you have 3,048. Now, you do have some zenny to spare. You are going to be traveling to Antel. You're going to pay the cost for Antel. So it's perfectly fine. You can always just buy uh, blue syrups if you want. But for the sake of time, we're going to just rush into it. We're going to go to Ant Hell. You have to have a party so you can be going in there. So make sure you have a party beforehand. Bring your character over. Brand Spear, level 6. Brand Spear, job level 10. Cure the stack of ants eggs. We're going to teleport over to Morak because... Well, actually not Morak. We actually... Yeah, Morak. You can teleport to the pyramids. You can pay another 25k any if you like, or you can just go to Morak and just go top left to the pyramids. What's going to happen here? I'm doing this to save myself the uh, Zenny. You're going to go to the top left. You're going to go into the pyramids. You cannot change jobs at the manager. Only You can only change jobs at the original first class job change location after your rebirth, okay? So you're going to be going up to the pyramids. You're going to be going top left and into the middle of the map. So watch. I lost time doing quest for Sonic Blow. Mm. But you can can you one shot with it or without it? Have you tried? Do you try it or? Because I think the real benefit in doing the quest is having the SP cost reduction and the increased hit. Because Dark Priests do have a bit of hit requirement to them, so. Now you're gonna go over to the without can't one shot with converter. This is IRL. Can somebody do the uh, server command for me? Without can't one shot. You cannot one shot with converter. Oh wow! Do so you talk to thief guide? So you're gonna change jobs and guess where you're going? Guess where you're going? That's why you're going back to Antal. Well, you can uh, excellent mission server. Thank you very much, Sidewinder. Much appreciated. So you're going to re-equip your stuff all over again. And this is where it gets good. You're going to go back to Antal. You're being penalized for fighting monsters that are higher level than you. EXP tab, we're going to be getting what? Uh, 385 uh, EXP, okay? 385 EXP, right? So the monsters are technically higher level than us. So we're being penalized because they are, you know... They were much, much higher than us. So we're getting 385 base EXP and 431 job EXP. Okay. Didn't know there were this many players. I tried it, but got completely lost at the beginning. Yeah, so I have guides that explain how to level up, where to go, what to do. Just get straight into the battle, not having to worry about any other side things. And, you know, it doesn't take away the fact that you're going to be exploring stuff. It's just more about being able to navigate things quickly and not being lo getting lost in the midst of all the extra stuff that the game has to offer not being overwhelmed by the amount of uh, zenny that a lot of equipment costs for whatever reason 
Yeah, ants how? Why are these ants not? Oh, there we go. So we're going to be teleporting away because there's so many eggs we can fight here. So 385, 431. So 385 base, 431 job. And we're going to have it kill the thing over here. So if you do control R and you select skill, you can pull out the skill yourself. You can also right click. Oh my God, bro. You can also uh, right click and go to view status and pull up the thing for the skills. Now we're going to teleport around. We're going to take out different stacks of ant eggs. Take out this stack. Don't worry about finishing them all off. What matters is that you are getting the EXP for it. So you're killing. These ants are higher level. You're not getting full EXP for them, but you know, uh, they're worth a good amount of EXP either way. 385, 431 EXP. Keep that in mind. Keep that number in mind because it's the magic number. And let me show you how good EXP can be when you are within leveling range. So 385, 431. Just kill the one ant egg. Well, now we get 1,113. Took I right. Thanks for the follow. Hope you're enjoying the stream. So now you get 1,113 base EXP. 1,113 base EXP. 1,113 base. And how was it? Oh my God. Can you go back up? 1254 job when you're within level range. All right, cool. So now. So now we're going to pop a battle manual because we get full EXP from these monsters and we're going to be rushing this. So here we go. Old battle manual buff. level 18 and level 19 just like that and a rush it just rush it doesn't matter just rush it bro just rush it it's cool it's cool just kill just kill just kill boom level 20 and boom level 20 i guess we didn't hit them at all wow incredible Just teleport around. You can kill the ants if you want. You are within our level range to do so. You know, I'm not even putting any points into any stat whatsoever. I'm just letting the mercenary do all the work for me. Here's the ant eggs. Hello, once again. And hello to you too. Remember, I'm not doing anything. The mercenary is doing all the work. That's what they're paid for. Just like that. Big stack of ants. Big stack of EXP. Three real states. Go back down. No, the mercenaries from the um, from the Prontera. Prontera top left. There's a mercenary guild manager, and that's the one I pick. And keep in mind, this thing expires at 47 minutes. So uh, what about 6:47 my time? We still got like what three minutes in the battle manual just passed by. We're still getting the EXP. Wait, level 72. Oh yeah, the merchant is level 72. Yeah, because you can, you actually can have items when you rebirth. You can have 500 zenny. I'm sorry, 500 zenny. You can have 500 weight worth uh, items. As long as you exceed the weight capacity, you can rebirth with uh, some items. It's only 30 minutes. The advanced battle manuals you get from the uh, from the booster box, and the later levels are the ones that are 200. Uh, sorry, they're one hour. These are just 30 minutes. The mercenary is only one uh, 30 minutes. Mercenary 30 minutes and uh, yeah, unless you're in a different time zone, then that's probably why you thought one hour, but yeah.
So also you can move the mercenary by holding out and left clicking. So that's how you move the mercenary fast. At level 33, we're going to be switching maps. We're going to be going fast here. We're not going to waste any time whatsoever. But any unpleasantries, we're just going to go and level. Fast, baby. Fast. Got to go fast. Okay, there's some ants here I can take care of. going keep it going level 32 we're just one level away from leaving this map and going to the sunken ship if i get into the top left i'm pretty sure the ant eggs spawn again and that'll be my cue for uh actually we can no not here oops mercenary what are you doing we have equipped our steam starter ring so we're still getting a lot of exp off of this Keep it running. Keep it running. Keep it running. One set of ant eggs to go. Let's go up here. And that will be base level 33. So pirate skeletons are level 30, 48 mobs. So 48 minus 15 is 33, which means we're going to be getting 40 XP from those monsters. So I'm going to go ahead and just brand a spear one last time here. Brand a spear. I'm going to move it over here. And notes, and notes that the character, the mercenary, is going to be healing its SP as we're walking. We're going to be moving on to Alberta now. Do you start level one with merch at here? Yeah, I started with level one. So I'm going to go ahead and just put dexterity plus 39 or 39. We're going to put agility plus 49. We're going to just go with that. And don't forget, when you are in the sunken ship, there's going to be one rule don't die because you lose the mercenary you can buy the mercenary when you're level 99 you rebirth with the mercenary scrolls and then you open up the mercenary scrolls and level up just like that you can open them up beforehand too no problem but uh yeah you know so remember you are you have very low hp there's a lot of damage here you might want to use your hp increase potion large you now have 3727 hp you want to be cool you can use your life potions just to keep you know survival and here we go now there's a very important factor here there's the three second grace period when you enter the map watch one mississippi two mississippi three mississippi well actually they they start attacking they get attacked so there's this three second grace period by which you cannot be attacked by attacked attacked by monsters they'll detect you but they're not going to hit you until the three seconds pass. Watch. I'm going to teleport one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Oh, that thing didn't go towards me. Uh, let's see here. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, and they come at me. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, and they come attack me. Well, these don't for some reason. Uh, let me find a spot where there's monsters that attack you. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, and there goes the whisper. So now you know. So now you're gonna teleport, you're gonna brandish spear and teleport away. You land in a mobby spot, just uh disregard it. Right here, it's a good spot. You can use your brandish spear here. You can let the mercenary do the work on its own, or you can guide it to where you want the uh mercenary to do brandish spear. So so you walk into a room, there's three seconds on there, so you just use this skill and boom, you go back inside. Three second gray spirit, back again, brandish spear once again, you're good to go. Another level. You come back outside here. There's a lot of monsters. There's no SP on them. That's cool. Mercenary. Use the life potion on it. And well, that did not go as well as I hoped it to go. But here we are. There's, yeah, there's a, there's a stage leveling here as well. So we don't get all the mobs. So just uh keep in mind there's be other people leveling here as well so if you don't get all the monsters that you want to get it's cool you're still going to be getting a lot of vxp nonetheless we're level 39 already mercenary low on sp use another potion you can also use your yellow potions if you want at this point, you have enough damage. I mean, sorry, you have enough health 
you have enough levels you have enough skill points you can add your skill points if you like you can use them to your liking the mercenary will continue to do the work you can also use high oh there's a cover down hero who just got eaten by those things over there oh no they ate it Oh no, they digested it too. Oh no, the water right one is also gone. Man, these cookers do everything. You're doing monk quest, you didn't make a booster? Brandish spear here. Brandish spear here. Brand spear here and brand spear over here. Cool, right? Very easy, no BS leveling approach. It just logs you in and nothing else. What do you mean logs you in nothing else? Do you log out of your character before you make the account? Like you before you put the account details? Because that's a common thing that happens. If you uh set up the well, that's a lot of monsters. If you if you're locked down when you're making the booster character on the website, it doesn't uh, let you make it because you're locked in. You have to be locked out of the account to uh, have that uh, work. Yeah, yeah, just log out entirely of your clients and then register the accounts, and then that's when you uh, cover the Nero, cover the Nero. Oh my God, there's a second one eating stuff. No, stop them, stop them. Can use the Eden dagger, which is really good, by the way. Just like that, just like that. Keep it up, keep it up. Put the work in, put the work in. Another blue potion. Come on, let's go, let's go, mercenary. Let's go. You got it, mercenary. You got it, you got it, you got this. Come on, you got it, bro. Look at that. Look at that go. Boom. And a brand of spear, just like that. Spear hit 99100 or 99100. Thanks for the follow. Hope you join the stream. And the best part about this is you can do this as a regular non-booster character as well. You can buy the mercenary scrolls. And you can do the exact same thing. You don't have to be a booster character to do this. You can go to Valhalla and do this as well. Damn, bro. It's been 15 years since I last played RO. Look, let me tell you something. You have no idea how many people have told me that in the past couple of uh, weeks. A lot of people have been coming back lately. Now, let me ask you this question, bro. Oh, 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 I know what's going on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you register on that? But yeah, uh, Spearhead, so let me ask you a question because I just want to understand this because we have a lot of people that have been coming back in the past couple of weeks, two months ago. Uh, so tell me, how did you find this channel right now? How, how are you back right here? How, how do you find the Sunbird channel? If you don't mind me asking, just want to be informed of, you know, how people who return after many years end up finding the game again. Nice mob. Oh, the mercenary got SP up. Very nice. So sometimes you buy, you know, a bunch of mercenary screws just in case you screw up and you try to get brave or something. 
the nostalgia, bro. I don't get time to play video games because I'm a lawyer, so I used to Twitch to watch this. Oh, okay. So you just decided to look up the RO category out of nowhere? Ah, oh, that's cool, bro. That's cool. Well, thank you for choosing the Sunbird channel. Much appreciated. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about the game, I can keep you up to date with what I know about has happened in the game in the last five years. Um, some stuff is not pretty. Some stuff is pretty chill. And uh, for, what, for what it's worth, uh, the game has actually become a lot easier in the past couple of years than it was. Whoa, nice love over here. Let's go, baby. Let me get some of that EXP. Very nice. Very nice. I love it. Another another brandish beer. So long story short, I'll explain what's going on here because it might seem kind of weird. So the mercenary system, we had a mercenary system a long time ago. I don't know if we had it back in 15 years ago. We probably did, right? Yeah, we probably did. So all right, move out of the way, move out of the way. There's a, there's a card in the floor. So now we have this little light effect. When cards drop, there's a little light effect. I changed the GRF. You're allowed to do this particular change to make the card large because it's really hard to see cards. So basically, I'm using the mercenary. You can use... Oh, Kukri card. That's nice. So you can pretty much get a mercenary before you rebirth. It's a level 65 mercenary. I'm oh, sorry. It's a level 72 mercenary. And you usually can't pick it up unless you are within that level range. So I bought it before I went through the rebirth process. And you're allowed to have some, you know, 500 weight on you before you rebirth. So I brought mercenary scrolls with me. And I pretty much leveled up uh, at Anhal to level 33. And I used the mercenary to help me get to, you know, level 54 by jumping to sunken ship. And it was Kukri. And it makes it makes the leveling process a lot easier. You don't have to redo the whole grind from once you drop 50 again. It's just a neat little trick. Uh, a lot of people watch the channel and they end up learning new things every day because uh, not everybody knows everything. But when you play a lot and you show different ways of leveling or your method of doing things people tend to learn something new they may not be aware of before in the past so it's kind of cool i used the indian rack knock server and kill gr in covers and the card drop and popcorn stone the same body was there oh no <laughs> whoa that is just uh my condolences all right so somebody asked a question around how many players would you say iro has i'm looking for a server to play but i don't know well let me tell you something let me tell you something First of all, all the people that are here, 95% of them. I'm going to let the mercenary die so I can open up a new one. Thank you for your service. Oh, you are being good, but you're about to expire anyways in 10 minutes. So. so right now, a lot of people who watch the channel, they play RO or have played RO. Or maybe 10% of the people, maybe like 90% of people play, 10% of the people watch. There is a community in the Sunbird Discord, they... 95, 99%, 90% of them play RO. Other people are just there to support the channel. There is the IRO Wiki Discord. A lot of people join because they want to play IRO, right? So there's that, right? Okay, now moving on. With that said, uh, the login count is about 1,800 these days. For job 50, we're going to go to back to Prontera. We're going to go back to Juno. We're going to rebirt. Well, not rebirt. We're going to get to Ascend in second class and move on. So... So there is a big community that plays the game. 1,800 people online after 8 p.m. Sometimes into the 2000s. A lot of people, I think, are from the Southeast Asia region, which is uh, kind of expected because nighttime for us, you know, in the in the, in the U.S., uh, West Coast to East Coast, you would expect that to be a different time zone, which it really is. And yeah, so there is a community. Even though the login count may be 1,300 during the day of uh, U.S., West, U.S., East, there is a large player base. There is a community that exists within this channel, within the this channel's Discord, and the IRL Wiki Discord. So, so if you think about the login count being the number to actually getting into play, that may be a bit different from the actual community that is that exists around the game. Does that make sense? The login count you may find people. A lot of people may just be just vending. Some people may have their chats up. In fact. A lot of people may be hanging out in town and they're probably just logging on Discord to, you know, talk with their friends and they're not even talking in-game. So, there is a market. I do leveling, guys, all the time. I level up characters. In fact, I leveled up a character from 1 to 200, a little bit over. And 
I managed to get an MVP card live on stream. I showed every step of the process except level 140 to 170 because that was really, really boring, super extremely repetitive, but you can best believe I leveled up that geneticist myself. It was very, very tedious, so difficult, very annoying in a way, but I did it. So we drop an MVP card. There is a community, whatever you may have heard about the pay to win, some of it may be true, but if you're trying to, I don't know if you can really pay. Oh, El Kimiko, his name is El Kimiko. I got a screenshot of that. Uh, so, so uh, yeah, you know, there is a community that plays the game. Not everything is about the login count of how many people log in. There is nice steady amounts. And I think that might be sufficient to give it a try. From my personal standpoint, I stream almost daily. I try to provide the best possible entertainment that I can. I try to help people get started with the game, understand the game. And I think that might be sufficient to at least give it a try. If you want to level up a character, my recommendation that I've always talked about is Runite. This VOD, I leveled up a Runite from 1 to 99. Well, I made the brand new account that day of, leveled it up to 99, rebirth 99, 100, third class, same sitting, one day, easiest class you level up. And I explained everything that I did. There's no curve boss, no hidden tricks, there's no smoke and mirrors. I show everything that I do. And you can best bet it's worth your time. It's worth your time. Absolutely. Assassin Cross. Okay, time to recover your glorious appearance. Uh huh. Yes, yes. I would like to. Yes, thank you very much. All right, now we're going to re equip everything and guess where we're going? That's right. We're going back to Antel. We're going with a Qatar now. All right, cool. So don't worry about anything. The mercenaries need to keep doing the work for you. Uh, there's a bounty you can probably pick up if you want, but you know, up to you. And this is going to get really fun because now we have access to meteor assaults. We have, we have access to advanced guitar mastery and that's going to help us level. And we got to this in what, what, 20 minutes? We got to drop 15, 20 minutes, a little bit over 20 minutes. Check bounty board, pirate skeleton, pick it up. Let's go. Back to the grind, baby. Back to the grind. That's what we're all about in this channel. Showing you the real grind. No smokes and mirrors. Just clicking and spamming potions and sonic blows all over the place. Well, now it's going to be meteor assaults, but yeah. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. I know it went on a whole tirade, but a lot of people try... Not try. I tried 10. A lot of people tend to just look at the login count as a metric of, you know, if it's worth trying something, but really... I learned that the community exists with their, there is a, you know, what, 2,000, 5,000, 1,000 number. And I think that's probably, you know, for me, it was probably good enough. Oh, look at that. Job level four. Let's go get them job levels, shall we? Ooh. I can still die to these things. Oh my God. We're going to use our HP increase potions. We're going to just let the mercenary do the work for us. Just like that. And there you have it. No, thank you. <laughs> so do you guys know why the stable links now? been a while all right so we're gonna use the mercenary blue well how far are we can kill us one more kill SP up. SP up. There you go. We got SP up. Nice. Oh, that's a very nice map here. We got all the monsters to concentrate right here. Boom. Boom. And boom. That's so close.
Oh, unfortunately, I think we're still going to be here for a little bit longer. We could probably use Grim Tooth and expedite the leveling process here. Yeah, we're still off by a lot of job levels. Oh, that's a lot of mobs there. We're back to it. Oh, we're out of SP. Ooh. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to do that strategy. I'm going to use the Grim Tooth because... Um, how many job levels is it to over here? We still got another five. But let me level 25. We can probably use that. So we're going to just go ahead and grab Grim Tooth. We're going to help the mercenary a little bit. Mercenary is going to have to take a little break here and there. Mercenary is almost dead. All right, so we're going to use the elemental converter fire. Actually, we could use the other mercenary. We can use the elemental converter fire that we got. Uh, we got this thing. Just to help us with the damage because we're still lacking the job level. So uh, let's go ahead and help the mercenary out. Let's make sure this doesn't die on the, you know, on the job. Up for the damage just right click oh yeah by the way don't forget to put points into your you know stats like strength and dexterity so we have free resets all the way up until you know well we just have limited free resets so go ahead and take advantage of those free resets The leveling process can take quite a while and if you got other skills that you can use to level up make use of them it's perfectly fine All the way to the next level almost because it's more time efficient for me to just get the kills because i'm gonna be some grim tooth in the long run so i only need the mercenary to help me out a little bit and if i was to, if i was to heal my mercenary like dude let me just show you how much this heals for? Fifty six HP healed. I'm better off just uh, having it lure the monsters in, and I just uh, use Grim Tooth to kill stuff. It's a waste of time, really. Mercenary is almost dead, I guess. I'll go back to town real quick. We're gonna turn in this quest. Well, actually, we can probably just wait until this drop level. Because I want to get, uh, I want to use the battle manual for this one here in particular.
Yeah, a little bit of lag. Okay. Here we got the job level now. We're gonna go back to make your booster characters now if you can. I highly recommend it. Uh, after this, I mean, glass time is really not that long of a time to level up. I think the longer time really just comes in from the 99 portion of it. But it's really just the same leveling, honestly. In all sincerity, it's just the same uh, leveling. So. Oh, okay, cool. So I'm going to get Sonic low level 10 because I know this is the tried and true one shot. I think it, the server has now uh, <laughs> crashed again. Okay, no, no. It's laggy though. It's very laggy. So. Oh, the mercenaries doing work. The mercenaries doing numbers. If I can hit, that is. All right. Seems good to me. You got about 6% per kill. Not bad. Keep in mind that what you got to do after this is you got to go back to town. You got to heal up over and over. So we're going to leave it as it is for now. We're going to pick it up later. So time is of the essence. And with that said, let's get started. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Captain Summer Show, the early morning edition. If you've been listening to the Sunbird facts these days, it turns out that Sunbirds are actually nocturnal. But this is very fitting on brand, if you ask me. So and yeah, well, there's a lot of uh, EXP to acquire. There's a lot of things to get done. So I think we might be able to beat it. The only reason why I woke up early for this was because uh, EXP event is ending. It's already mentioned in the uh, patch update. I have yet to uh, finish making some booster accounts. I think the last ones I need are mechan- no. I need- I made the Paolo, I made the mechanic account. Just, you know. I see what else I'm missing. I think a Star Gladiator, because I did have the ninja accounts, but both for male and female. So No, I, I went over. I went over. Not delivered. I server had gone down a little, so I was like, oh yeah, the server's not gonna be working, so I'm gonna go over there. It's very unfortunate because the burrito wasn't you know it's not on anyone just saying this is what happened the burrito wasn't wrapped very well and they had to like redo the burrito but they just dropped the stuff that they have in the prior burrito into the two uh tortilla and well i think i lost about 10 percent of the burrito well five percent because a lot of sauces are kind of stuck to the tortilla so i do think i had a slight loss of burrito oh you don't have sonic acceleration you have to go back and talk to the npcs Oh, wow. Okay, well, let's go back because we kind of need that. Forgot about that. So, yeah. Um, unfortunately, the burrito was not well wrapped and uh, sad state of affairs. Don't die for a head. How you doing? Good morning. We're up early today. Beating the clock, beating the maintenance. But yeah, so far it's been a been a good morning. I I slept well because some people think, wow, it's so early, Sunbear. I'm like, yeah, well, you know, I did I did sleep early for this, so everything is planned 
all according to plan. Mainly because, well, gotta beat maintenance. Catamuguesa. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Estamos muy tempranito. Muy tempranito. Yo just came back after six months of hiatus and joined the magic run. Very good. Very good. Just a heads up that the uh, EXP event is ending today, so. Well, I know this is kind of useful, but does anybody want a clip? I can't use it. Free clip if you want it. Before I NPC it for, uh, you know. All right, let's go back last time. But damage really went up with that sonic acceleration thing. And level six is still too much. Now with the uh, advanced guitar mastery, we get extra more percent damage. Now we gotta lower the level as again. Level three is probably gonna be it. No, nope, level two is probably gonna be it. Level two. Oh, almost. Let's go ahead and boost up the strength just to have the uh, strength going for us. Level sixty-eight. Alright, level 2 is going to be it for now. We're going to be using 20 SP instead of 14, so we're going to be saving some SP by doing so. So, the reason why I aim for the Sonic Acceleration Scale is to be able to kill the monsters with less, yes, with less SP required. So... It also increases your hit with the particular skill, so... That's really why, honestly. Okay. I see 30 now because we are lacking the hits. We're gonna use an element to convert a fire to facilitate our killing and we're gonna keep going. We're level 69. Very nice.
going to very, very slowly. Very, very slowly because we are cursed. We also have to increase our agility. Just so you know, agility should be increased because you rely on your flea. So make use of your flea. Yeah, I'll, I'll be getting the um, <clears throat> meteor salt later. I'll, I'll get to it eventually. Just... Uh... The real time for it to shine is when we get to the uh, Dark Priest. That's when we're going to really be relying on Meteor Assault. So. And we're, we're going to be resetting the build then to just to... Uh... Oh my god, level 2 can one-shot these things. Think of these SP savings. What level should I leave around? Well, at one... <sighs> I guess you can do Tartarus Warehouse at level, uh, I think like 170, 165 ish, or right now you can probably do that. I kind of, I used to leave that place at uh, Illusion Turtles at 170 before I went somewhere else. You can also do uh, Avis Glass Time if you can survive. All right, now we're level 71. We can pick up the Eden Group leveling quests. So we're going to be hitting on over two. Gaffin, we're gonna save here. We're gonna go to the eating group. We're gonna pick up some quests and do it again. Now we have to kill 10 Drays and 10 Yuba Drays, and we get rewarded with EXP. You go to the mission board, you select all, and you go down. You're gonna teleport over. Accept your quest. And off we go again. Yeah, that's what it says. But you, you can teleport in. Okay, if you get to level 172 or I think 173. I think it's level 173. You get 4 EXP from the monsters there at level 173. You can actually warp in there. You can actually memo it. For whatever reason, you can memo it. And you can warp yourself in there. Yeah, go to bear court and ask for the um, for the warp. Somebody will warp you. A lot of people have the warp, so they'll be more than happy to. stream yeah because we're trying to beat the maintenance they did announce that the exp rate is going to go down i don't know about booster just exp rates you know me i want to get this done before the exp rate goes away make sure we have a, a good timing on it because i know whether you do it on 175 percent exp or you do it on the you know once once 150 percent exp 275 percent exp yeah exp is going to go down the matter of the fact is as long as it's completed it still makes sense because whether the exp rate is lower or not you're still completing it it's still showing us completion at least in my personal opinion otherwise i would just stay at 90 and then be like all right guys we got to level 90 just level up here until 99 but i gotta show that you level up there to 99 not just like oh hey yeah just go there and uh that's kind of it you know no i think it's still 150 percent exp it says 75% down, so I don't know if that means 200% or, or what, but I don't know. Because I think anniversary EXP was like 50% more, no? Yeah. Yeah, check the forum post. I posted on the on Bear Cord.
so we're gonna start boosting agility all the way up to 80 now because we are uh, maybe 90 i don't know we're gonna see it i think it'll come down to 200 percent. i think so too it doesn't seem right yeah but i don't know it doesn't seem like it's there it's in the control now or something i don't know Flowering of destiny, take me to the center. Eh, yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, I think it'll come down to 200% as well. Two x-ray is still not bad. 275 was nice. 300% is even better, but... I think I can still do the uh, leveling uh, stuff. If the booster event doesn't go away, I can still do this, so... I would like to continue doing this, but uh, I don't know. 275% extra EXP was pretty good. Hey, I think I saw that mug yesterday. No, I don't think I did. No, probably not it. no wait time today uh, yeah no you need to memo just slash memo with the priest you slash memo inside the dungeon ah level 75 now great rinse and repeat rinse and repeat I'm super busy, man. Wow, a high novice. Oof. Any recommendation leveling bowling bash on the magma dungeon level two? I can't properly have too many, too many macro players. What? Okay, okay. So the macro players shouldn't affect your your mood, honestly. There's going to be nice little stacks of monsters in certain locations which you can take advantage of, but honestly. Doesn't get better than Magma Dungeon Level 2. I think I saw some macro players too when I was leveling there, but I mean I just I just kept doing my thing. You, you know beginner fly wings, right? You used to the beginner fly wings, by the way. Just want to be sure. I mean, I understand it sucks, but I mean, if that's, if that, you know, stops you from leveling there, it's just, I don't know, it seems kind of weird to me because the XP is still the best as it is. You do what, well, I mean, you do what, like one bowling bash, two bowling bash, you're good, you're good, right? It's not going to happen every single time. So I don't know. I don't know. I really think you can still do it regardless. It's like if a, if a map is mobby and there's a lot of people going on, you know, the respawn rates are going to continue as it is. When they kill monsters somewhere else, they're going to spawn somewhere else, right? Me gusta subir mi booster priest. Orale. Luego. Also, thank you for your tips. All right, you're welcome. What up there? Macro is allowed now? No, macro is not allowed. Of course not. There's, there's like a really weird condition to that. Supposedly, it's not to automate gameplay, but if you're if you're standing there, if you're sitting in front of the computer, apparently, if you're sitting in front of the computer, and if a GM shows up and asks you, "Hey, what are you doing?" You're like, "Oh, I'm just here chilling." It's like, okay, you you're, you're fine. It doesn't count as "quote unquote" automating gameplay if the person is there. It's really weird. What I'm saying is, don't let that, you know, affect you. It's like, they're there, whatever, we're gonna do about it, just keep leveling. That's my stance. 
I mean, I've seen some macro uh, people like go in, kill some at all, and like, oh, well, that's rude. And I just like keep going. There are a lot of macro. I, mean, I believe there is a lot of macro, but there's no better EXP than Magma Dungeon. It's literally the one place you, you know, level up. Yeah, well, not a whole lot we can do on that end, honestly. level I think I'm gonna wait to turn in the uh, evil druid bounty board I have the bounty board completed I'm just gonna hold off on it until I get to level 79 to make myself get to level 80 yeah I remember there was the, the whole afk leveling thing and some people were quote unquote kill stealing the mobs that were on the uh, player who was just, you know, sitting there with the mobs the entire time. And they said, all right, well, here's the rule. So if you are AFK leveling and you're not there, then yeah, that's AFK. And it's worth to see other mobs. But if you're attacking stuff and you're there and they come kill you, then that's not right. Yeah, I remember there was a, um, a guillotine cross at Pitayas in a couple of months back, maybe like two months ago. And I would always kill steal, and I reported them. And they said like, oh yeah, well, we need to do further investigation. One week later, the person was still there, and I'm like, okay, that's just kind of weird, but whatever. I did my part, I reported, and I just never went back to um, Pitayas after that. After I was done leveling, I was done. A mí se le quedó atacado su personaje, tuvo que enviar ticket para que le muere. ¿Cuándo? Ay, no, pobrecita. Anoche, híjole. Pues qué bueno que pues no me metí anoche yo aquí el juego. Pues que... Es imposible. Híjole. No, pues... Está difícil eso. Muy difícil está la situación. Si me han quedado con el EXP en 300 por hasta el fin del año, ¿no? De perdida. Ya, yeah, we gotta do Banquet for Heroes. Banquet for Colados. <laughs> Se metió en la fiesta y ni los ni ni era para ellos. Como por ejemplo yo me dijo, ah, tú es el vato que está en el poster, acabo de, a poco, a poco soy yo. Y se, no, no, si sí, estás igualito que en la foto. Peleaste contra Satan Morrow y dije, ah, caray, ¿cuándo? Ah, dije, sí, 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 ese fui yo, sí, sí, por supuesto. Por supuesto, yo, 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 yo peleé con Satan Mora que pues, no, me lo, y sí, bien, bien, bien fácil. Ah, qué okay, bueno, pues hay un banquete para ti, compa. Ah, caray, bueno, pues qué chilo. Y luego llegas, llegas al, al banquete para los héroes, y luego ni hay, ni hay carreta de tacos. Pues, ¿para qué vine? Oh my god. <laughs> y luego no había música en vivo. No había DJ. No había mariachi. 
Entonces, ¿para qué voy? <ríe> y luego... <ríe> y luego para que el, para que el hijo del rey ande tirando berrinches. <ríe> Eso, eso de problemas familiares no me meto yo, pero... <risa> no, no es por la falta de sueño, pero... A veces... A veces me, me daba risa porque pensaba... Dicen, ah, tú eres el poster. You are the guy from the poster. And yo me quedé como que, ¿qué? And I'm like, oh, yeah, see, tomorrow that happened a long time ago. Okay, okay, that, that makes sense, that makes sense. And they just invite you, so you make a character, no matter which character you make, you know, you're one of the heroes, they always invite you because you were there when uh, Satan Morak was defeated. And you're like, bro, I was born two hours ago. What are you talking about? I'm just like, level, I'm level 100. I'm full decked out on cash up gear and uh, I'm pretty sure you got the wrong person, but still, thanks, I guess. But uh, yeah, it's... Uh, Always that particular aspect of the bank of heroes was uh, very amazing. That no matter which character you make, you're always the one from the poster. And then you arrive there, and there's like all this drama going on, and it's like, okay, so like this is just rich people stuff, right? The royal, the royal people stuff. Es siempre yo pensé todos los juegos que tratan de que tratan de jugar. Sí, 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 sí. No sé, pero pero me me dio mucha cura eso, pues me dio mucha risa. Y, y siempre, siempre lo pensaba, pero nunca, nunca lo puede decir así en, en ese tono, pues. Pero... Pero siempre me daba risa eso, pues, no, no sé. Expresarlo de esa forma da, da más risa todavía, porque es como, como una charra, pues. Oh, wow, I didn't get... I didn't get tossed out of uh, height. That's cool. But I see. Um, anyways, we're gonna go back to English because you know people are probably wondering what the hell's going on. Long story short, I was just making fun of the whole you know bank of the stuff. You're always the guy from the poster, and usually I guess in the Mexican culture we have like the, the taco cart and just like a DJ or there's like banda playing, and it's you know that's how parties normally are. Well, some parties, not all, but some parties are like that, and. Uh, And I just applied that to the uh, Banquet for Heroes, and it's it's actually kind of funny now that you think about it that way. <laughs> you know, actually, it would be kind of funny to do a... Uh... Oh, 89%. I'm very close to that level. I'll just wait off on level 80. It's kind of funny if you think about it, like if you if you dress up like the royal errand boy and you do the uh, hey you're you know you do it in English and Spanish. And like, hey you're 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 the you're the hero who subjugates it's Mark, and then like you know you go back to to you know my character, and like I make a weird expression and it's like a flashback to me just uh, watching the Satan Mark battle from a distance and be like oh yeah you go guys yeah yeah. Yeah, Zero Strike there. Yeah, that's a good Zero Strike. Good job. Good job. <laughs> like, wow, you're the hero who, subju who subjugated us here tomorrow. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's me. All right. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was me. And then as you get to the party and, you know, you're saying that it's, it's all bland. There's no, you know, there's no, nothing good going on. And then you're going to grab a drink. And then the, um... What's his, not his name? Oh my god. The guy from uh, the guy who gets the who takes the, the spiked drink. Hein? And then Hein takes the, the spiked drink. The like uh the waitress waiter comes by, oh drink? And you're like, yeah, yeah. And then the um, you know, royal guy picks it up and you're like, oh fine then, you know, you you drink if you want. And then you go to resume, it's like, well bro, you're pretty that <laughs> after one drink. You saw the drink and you got drunk, bro. I mean, we know what happened in the story, but. But yeah. Ah, <sighs> man. It's pretty fun. All right. We're level 79. We're very close to the 80. 
once we get to 82 ish we can turn in this uh dining portal we can turn it in at level 80 level 88 in 86 once we finish the bounty board i think i might just save um level five is probably it right level five yeah when it's level five maybe level four is probably even it wow the difference between one shot and not one shot with battle with uh converters one level we're gonna just use this to save the battle map the battle manual the um what is the thing called we're gonna save the yeah, no. we're gonna save the uh, the converter for when we have a bit more necessity to actually do that at dark priest right now we're gonna not use the converter we're gonna use level four and save sp by doing so We'll save Zenny by doing so because we are going to be conserving more SP in the long run using level, you know, whatever Sonic Blow versus the Dark Priest and using Converter versus these monsters right now. So, all right, so we need seven more rates and then we're going to be going back. Because I think by turning the, the Evil Drake down the board, I am going to level up. So I'm going to just wait till I'm done with this particular quest. But I'm almost done with the um, Wraith bounty board as well. So it's just really easy EXP to go back and forth in this quest. So mm. 6 a.m. We still have seven hours. Well, six and a half hours. No eighty one. Oh, and by the way, if you guys did not know, you do get your first class skills uh, when you rebirth. Even if you don't do the quest, you still get them. So, morning, you are here early. Yeah, we're here early because we want to beat the clock. We want to beat the maintenance. And they did announce Banquet for Heroes. I mean, Banquet for Heroes. They did announce uh, Illusion of Teddy Bear. So, and they did announce they were going to drop the EXP down 75%. So, I guess we're going to have to, you know, beat the uh, maintenance, get this done and over with. I know that, you know, it's a very early time. It's probably not the ideal stream time, but we want to get this done. We want to ha have it documented, show that this is the way to do things regardless. And stop a boy 69. Thanks for the follow. Hope you enjoy the stream. So we're just trying to beat the clock and to get our character to 9970 and just say that we did it. Mm. Here with my coffee early as well, getting this done. You know, that's kind of what we're doing these days, right? You know what I'm saying that's what we're doing these days. So. How much? I think I had 80 strength last time as well, right? Anyways, more Sonic Blow action coming right up. Turning the uh the Wraith bounty board. I mean sorry, the evil droid bounty board. Because I think if I turn I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a lot of EXP, but yeah. I think I ought to turn in the evil droid bounty board first. Because if I turn in the other one, if I turn in the Wraith bounty board, I'm very certain. That I'm gonna be getting up to about maybe one level 90 percent 
and then if i get another stack of exp it'll be just one level which will be the 10 percent followed by the you know 90 percent of the upcoming one which is not as good as getting uh level say level 83 or level 84 with 90 percent go back get level 85 and train get 86 to 90 percent or so something like that so we're gonna have to just turn this in as it is and hope that we don't lose does emmy benefit from in any way from missing intelligence i think the cast time i think there's a cast time proportion to it right a very well cast time i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm running right now so can anybody check the variable cast time there is variable cast time right i think the enforcer boots kind of get rid of that oh perfect we are at a perfect position in terms of the xp to use to training our bounty board so we're going to turn this in all right so we're going to go ahead and turn this in because we had the bounty board from before we before we rebirth oh that didn't give me a oh okay that's cool we go oh yeah so um we have uh i need to add them but mm. i i left i left after the stream ended yesterday because i knew the situation for the server wasn't going to be that great but uh we do have two new um well, I, well maybe yeah we're gonna use two i guess we're used two of them we have two new uh emotes for the silly bears which i absolutely love by the way not gonna lie love the style on them so we're gonna be adding them when i take a small break because man we're going fast today we're going hard today we're going all out i think depending on the booster situation i think i don't know if we're gonna be doing more boosters or if i'm gonna just jump into the dragon birth really nice and just level those and whoever's level 180 and on can just you know jump with me to the um Odin temple and whatnot be aware that i'm not gonna quote unquote lead you to 200 but i will probably just uh you know level myself to 200 and change characters and then maybe the next character that comes around you can just jump in and get some exp so if you want to get within those levels uh go ahead and do so just be aware that i i will probably maybe depending on how it goes be leveling characters on saturday but oh, I still want to finish all the characters, though. It's kind of good to have that on record for people to see how to level up a booster character. And even if the booster events, you know, when it comes back next time around, you know, people will know how to level up the character. So the content will, you know, do its work. I, I don't know. I don't trust that. There's no there's no mention of it. Uh, okay, well, sleep well, Hatam It was nice seeing you. Thank you for stopping by. Really appreciate it. And we'll see you later, okay? It is in the post. Oh, it is in there? I mean, I woke up and I, I was I looked like the one bear that I posted. And I was like, yeah, man, you know, I listen to Teddy Bear. Okay, cool. Oh, booster event. Okay, I see it. I see it. I see it. Thank you very much. Yeah, I have the uh, Discord uh, on the side. I can see the messages come in. So when people send me messages, I reply to them. And people tell me, oh, you don't have to reply right now. And I'm like, well, I kind of take a small breather when I reply to messages. You know, people don't mind. They know I'm a uh, you know, one bear you know, show. So you got to do it. I, I do it all. But anyways now we're done with this we'll go back to it in we're level 80 uh 83 now very good exp you let me say so myself i 
we're not getting a full level off of this now, which is kind of, you know, interesting. But it's pretty good. It's pretty all right. Hey, how you doing there? Grew up in Hearthstone. How you doing? We're getting these levels right now. So, so the question is, do people still want to see boosters after this? I still, I have, I still have my schedule. Don't get me wrong. I still have my schedule that I'm probably going to follow for the most part. But I think there's still a lot of characters people want to see be done. So. Oh, man, I might need another cup of coffee. interested in rogue oh rogue okay so there's a few ways to go about rogue one of them for me backstab another one is claymore trapping believe it or not you can claymore trap you can actually get claymore trap inside the game without relying on another player really interesting actually it's, it's pretty cool the premise of that is i'll tell you you know how you can do the quest you get into a matsu dungeon really fast i do that quest and i go to the third floor and i go to the shinobis and the shinobis have level five claymore on the floor you step on it you get claymore level five and that's it and then you just go level up at the at Dark Priest at level 86. And before then, you can use your double strafing to kill the race and evil druids. You get yourself maybe about 60 agility, rest in two dexterity and intelligence. Or you go full intelligence for dexterity and just double strafing. The, yeah the the backstab i gotta see how well i can one shot or maybe two shot with backstab is not a bad idea the problem is again you know the uh cost But yeah, you can just backstab, I guess. The good thing about this game is you can go about it different ways. There's no one single way to do things. Maybe there is the uh, engineer optimized method, which is the one that, you know. <laughs> designed by the engineers that play Ragnarok Online. Maximizing efficiency at all costs. Hello, it's me you're looking for. Are you? Are you a rogue player? Oh, very interesting. So you, you're, you're backstabbing the horses or what? For the record, by horses, I mean Nightmare Terror before anyone thinks like, what is Bear talking about? What do you mean backstabbing horses? I don't want to use a um, All right, well, I'm gonna have to do it then I guess Because we get well, that's a good question actually so 
my my philosophy for this particular series is two things one ease of access actually you probably could do heartbeats all the way to level 90 what am i saying i find it easy for people to just do this instead of the heartbeats because somebody told me earlier Venom splash your heartbeats and i'm like I'm like, yeah, you know, I tried it and Venom Splasher on Heartbeats was not very easy to do. And my philosophy is if I'm going to do a particular type of leveling, yeah, there's other ways to go about it. You can probably do uh, Meteor Assault there. I don't have enough points for it. But my issue is Heartbeats attack fast and they attack in a big bunch. If you cannot pull off Meteor Assault, I don't know what the cast time is. I'm not, I'm not thinking about the cast time at the moment. Yeah, you can emmy heartbeats. Okay. It's a request. We'll go see once I'm done with this. But heartbeats is probably faster, I think. I do think it is. I do think it is. Don't get me wrong. Never had any problem. Oh, okay. All right. All right, just to be clear, the reason why I went with Sonic Blue early on is because I didn't have enough stats to do the thing with Heartbeats, and this is easy enough for people to replicate. I'm going to finish the Glass Time Voids first, and then we're going to go to Heartbeats to show that you can do it with, uh, with that. Oh, I forgot to heal up. Crap. I went. The main reason why I went back was to heal up. Anyways. So we're talking about like what like 60 dexterity 70 dexterity or as you tell her waiting yeah because i remember i was told hey you can desperado the uh magma dungeon level two and that didn't go well Hey, you can Venom Splash your Heartbeats. And well, that didn't go well. Like, it could be done. It just it took a lot of effort. And if I wanted to do this for somebody who's starting the game again, yeah, we're going to show them the option for Heartbeats after we're done with the with the, um, with the the Evil Druids here because we want to take advantage of the fast XP here. Yeah, not to say it's not fast XP over there, but again, ease of access is important for me because we had this thing go happen twice already with Venom Splasher and Magma Dungeon... Um, what is that thing called desperado so you know there's some suggestions that work when you have a little bit more gear i'm pretty sure this will work without the without the fan i'm absolutely certain it will work but this is just a quote-unquote tried and true and what i'm aiming for is just an ease of uh replication so when I heard the Venom Stature thing and it didn't work out, it's like, all right, I'm not going to be following that many things right now. But Mag the Magnus Exorcismus. <laughs> Magnus Exorcismus. But Meteor Salt is different, though. It has a shorter cast time to it. So. We will be doing that shortly. We got that out of the way. Let's go turn this in. Get a group mark. Did we get disconnected? Oh no, we didn't get disconnected. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was tedious. It was tedious. Okay, very nice. You did 60 dexterity. If you can give me the build that you used, 
I will go ahead and try it out right now because we actually uh eh, I can pick up I'm gonna pick up the quest one more time and then uh then go to Harpies first and then come back and do the quest again. Give me a ballpark approximation of your stats just to uh do it here. Yeah. No, better better gears are needed. Yeah, exactly. But like I said, and I've been saying every single time, and people watching the VOD will be like, Barry's going at it again. No, no. It has to be easy to replicate just out of the box with the um, booster. Because then people are going to have excuses as to why they're not leveling or why they can't do something and whatnot. And I want to avoid that for people. Head back to Pranta real quick. Did you use a converter? You don't need it, right? No converters. All right, cool. Cool. We're going to go to Juno first. Then we're going to the eating group. We're going to do the reset. We're going to try this out real quick. All right. Enough to, yep, enough to one hit them. Good. We're going to go ahead and... That's perfect. All right, so I'm going to try with this so far, see how these stats work out, assuming that you do this at a lower level. Brucewick, how are you? Coffee. Yeah, I need coffee too. <gasps> Syrup reloaded. Very nice. All right, so eh, we can probably pick up the bandy board here as well. Let's see how it goes. Depending how it goes, we might stay. But I think it'll go well. I don't disbelieve this. Of course, I don't disbelieve it, but the delay is the problem. But here, yeah, for syrups. I mean, you get the uh, mysterious waters anyway, so you're kind of okay with that. You do have a lot of free potions from the crates anyways. So these stats, let me see what I can do with these stats first. Okay, not bad. Yeah, with 70 dexterity, you can get the cast off even if you're being attacked. That's very good. So, if you're watching the VOD, you can also do this harpy stuff. In the given case that you just let them come to you. And by the time they get to you, so you have to keep your distance. You're going to have a cast time, right? So, you get silenced. So you're going to start casting. Boom. If you have less than, you know, five harpies, you might be able to get away with uh, casting it. So... It's worth a shot when you're starting off. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. Works. Very nice. Very nice. I think I did this with my uh <laughs> before that cuz I have a I have a thought. I think I remember doing this with my guillotine cross long time ago. Well, not guillotine cross, assassin cross long time ago. And even more, you can just backslide. 
and get the kill so you backsliding gives you sufficient amount of space to cast while they're coming towards you because this is a what five by five is it really five by five or did they change this by any chance iron wiki meteor assault five by five yeah small area but what matters to me remember guys what matters to me is the ease of access for people to be able to replicate this that's all that matters to me for people to be able to replicate certain things i think earlier levels you can do this no problem but i had had the issues where people try to do things and they die too many times and then if something doesn't go their way there's always like hey where else can i go instead of doing this because i can't do this like this it's like okay you know i did that right i'm pretty sure i did i gotta check my old bod no 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 rooster rooster you're not up you're not up remember the reason why i do things the way i was doing them is for the ease of access because there's always going to be some sort of excuse that people are going to have for not being able to do certain things and that's it and i want to make the leveling as easy as possible for everyone involved because we do get certain people who have uh some issue coming up they say hey i can't do this particular leveling okay well no here's your options I will be including that in the footnotes for this particular stream that you can go to Heartbeast at level, what? 70? 68? Well, once you have Meteor Salt level 10, at least, and sufficient stats for Vitality to survive, and Dexterity for cast time. Because you guys, let's make it clear, you guys are very capable players. You guys are very good players. You have the capacity to do all of these things with ease. But there's a lot of people who start off the game who have difficulties moving around. They get hit locked. They can't break out of the hit lock. But we can. We can react fast enough to backslide and cast. That's not everybody. Unfortunately. All right, so let's go back and heal up because I'm not going to use my syrups for this. Of course not. Pink problem too. There we go. No, even even without booster, you get the first skill quest when you rebirth, not before then. Pink problem too. There we go. There's a pink problem. So the reason why I go off on different approach other than the ones that we know that are tried and true is because these people have issues with ping. Not, not everybody can mop the same way we mop. Not everybody can farm the same way we farm. Various like the government. They never give credit. Hey, I give you credit for the other one. I give you credit for the other one. Don't think I'm like the government. And I, I at least try to give an explanation as to why I think yes or no. At the very least, okay? If I didn't give you credit for the uh, Eden Dagger, yeah, that would be a problem. That would be a problem, but I did give you credit for that, so don't worry. You got credit. I suffer from pink problems. There you go. Anxious Rex suffers from pink problems. Let me tell you something. What is your opinion on the new TI lineup? Good for newbies now, sisters and snipers? I mean, Gramps has always been good for... Well, not always, but... If you can handle Gramps, you can go to Gramps. Duly noted. Awesome. See, so you're still, what? Well, you're still up 2-1, I think. Or 1.5 to 1. I can't remember, but yeah. I think we're tight, no? Or I think it was 2-1. You were up by 1, I think. I can't recall. Anyways, point is, point is, there are people that have suffered from ping. Not everybody can do Gramps. Not everybody can make mobs and, you know, time the thing and get the meter salt off. And it's perfectly fine. I'm just trying to adapt the content for everybody so that if there's people who have difficulties with certain things, they can actually at least still level up and not feel that the leveling approach is somewhat impossible. Because that is the last thing I want for people to find something difficult to be done because that's that's not fun. It really isn't fun, honestly. So at the very least, given options that are viable for everyone is my something in my particular interest that's only one here whatever 
but yeah. Whoa! Oh yeah, they're leveling up their characters in the group. Anyways, two to point five. All right, get out of here. They're changing the TI. It Us has like peach tree for low TI. Yeah. Right. My policy is if you can handle it, go for it. There's no reason to hold back. My reason to hold back is if if I suggest a low TI and we had the gargoyles this entire time, people are like, where can I go level? Because there's gargoyles in the map. So now it's like, okay, well, I leveled up my character Graham, so I don't know where to go. That would be an issue. So at least having a tried and true approach for, you know, a map I recommend it and doing it, you know, shows more credibility in the leveling process for that particular character under that particular method. Oh yeah, the sticky wet foot method, that's right. You know, I actually haven't done sticky wet foot in a very long time. It hasn't been a recommended particular item for a while now for me. The market changed a lot recently. And the demand for skeleton bone has been uh, great. Red herb demand great. It makes pay on dungeon really, really viable. All right, let's go back to town. Let's go heal up in the eating group. We're not gonna pay five thousand zenny for. Uh, I mean, sorry, we're not gonna pay up blue syrup just to you know. We are running on the on a timer though, but still. To be honest, I enjoy this game content living up to trans after that because monogamous. I thought it was more monogamous. Or it's I think it's monotone. No, no, it's monotone. It's mon it's, it's monotone, guys. It's monotone porque monogamos a otra cosa. Creo, creo que es. Yeah, it involves marriage one person at a time. It's, it's mono monotone. It's monotone pato. Monotonous. 56 to 71. It is. It is. I just haven't had to level up characters in a long time. Maybe that's probably why. And I haven't seen. I mean, I think there is somebody buying for 1000 Zenny, I think. Red of Frog is an easy leveling map, too. Not bad. Just knowing that the Red Herb activators will still be there after the. Um, Es una, es, es una palabra, o sea, hay gente que hasta a mí también me pasa con las palabras, una palabra se me pasa, pero uso la, la palabra en cajeta, pero es lo mismo, o sea, I understand what you're saying, I understand what you're saying. More intelligence for more uh, SP healing or just more SP in general. I might use one if I'm very close to it, but yeah. anyways. So yeah, uh, it's funny because there's some people that tell me that they don't like, it's not that they don't like the leveling. They say that this feels more monotone than the, than the next part because oh, I screwed that one up. I was thinking, um, some people tell me that they like that they're tired of C99 to, uh, oh God, that's, <laughs> that's the big stack of heart piece. Uh, somebody was telling me that they're tired of seeing, uh, you know, the nine, 91 to 99 because they see it so often. Wow, I'm not even doing this right. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. So somebody told me that they think this is very uh, 91 to 99 is very repetitive and it's very boring and that there's more of a need for the um, what is that called? Uh, 150 and onwards contents than the 91 to 99. I, on the other hand, think otherwise. 
I think there's a need for the 91 to 99 content because a lot of people aren't sure where to go early on. And there's always a lot of uh, assistance from 100 onwards in terms of um, being a asking questions and you know where to go and that kind of stuff. There's a lot of help from players here. I'm not doing this right. I'm backstabbing to a wall. But anyways, um, yeah, Incubus Egg would actually be good. Illusion Teddy Bear coming in. Yeah, we will have more leveling places soon. Wait, most people that say what? That we don't have leveling places or... Oh, that I'm not doing this right? Is that it? Oh, that's first 99. Yeah. No, because uh, what was what was it again? I think it had something to do with the whole thing already being solved or something, or that it's not that difficult. I, I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was. There was something. It was something really simple. I think it did land along the lines of like we already know where to go and what to do, but. But, you know, but the person told me, but that is just me, though. I just think it's already, like, overdone and whatnot, so. And I'm like, oh, okay, I guess. Farming cars would do 16.1. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Absolutely. No, that's the problem though. You you think that you would be focused on one to ninety nine. Oh my god, the sun is right. Oh that's right. It's it's yeah, I woke up early. <laughs> Anyways, um so, as I was saying, Ooh. I screwed that one up. Um, but yeah. I don't know about you, but before 2009, yeah, yeah, EXPTA was different back then. So, so the thing about uh, so Dawn of RPG, so you said, oh yeah, you know, one to ninety nine is just leveling and whatnot. It's funny because there's a lot of people, and again, this is why this is, and, and I need you guys to understand. Well, not a call on, on understanding, but the reason why I do things like this is because we do have people who say, oh, I need to farm up, I need to level up my character. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Just just go fight. Let's go kill just go kill stuff. And they said, Well, I need a card. I need to card my my this or that. And I'm like, no, you don't. You do you can make do without it. They're like, no, but I want more damage. I'm like, bro. You don't have to one shot. No, bro, but I want to do more damage. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 no. Oh, I need Zenny to buy a new weapon. I'm like, bro, eating group weapon does the job. Wow, these harpies are violent. But anyways, maybe, maybe, could be, it could be. But that's why I do the content the way I do it, because people are going to start thinking that they need a whole bunch of other stuff before they can even start leveling. And that's not exactly accurate. 
Plus Gil and Acolyte have max before going into AB. One thing I like to do is I like to look at the skill simulator and just click on the Archbishop skills and see which skill prerequisites you need. Once you have the skill prerequisites for the skills that you want as an Archbishop, you just select, okay, I want this other skill and this other skill and just pick what you want. Oh, no, Acolyte. Acolyte. No, he said Acolyte. Which skills will Acolyte have max before going into uh, Archbishop? For those of you watching the VOD, if you cannot handle Heartbeast, it's okay. You can go back to Glass Time and fight the uh, Dark Priest at this point. I'm off by one by two SP actually, so. All right, here's the mob again. There we go. All right, we're gonna go back to town. We're gonna heal up. No, no, Demon's Bane is only a flat reduction. You don't need a, you don't need a highest level. Look, it only reduces 30 damage at level 10. 30 damage, think about that, 30 damage. I use Demon's Bane and Demon's, you know, Divine Protection, and it's only 30 damage that it changes. It's really not a huge difference. Reduce SP on what? big mob but i think i can get back to it i can get back to it math geek you're talking about reduce sp but reduce sp on what cut my attention that you said that Skill requires level 10 demons bane oh oh that what oh what is it called i don't have the name of it can you give me the name of it i know which one you're talking about no nah, no nah, you don't have to worry about that that's uh it's not meditashu that's it's not meditashu right spiritual thrift yeah you don't nah, you don't need spiritual thrift yeah i don't i don't really see people picking that up yeah it's kind of nice that you get that but i feel like it's kind of tied to battle priest for the s for the sp consumption because you don't use a lot of uh you know intelligence maybe i don't know hard bargain for me hard bargain to drive for me
Wow. One syrup. For battle, I mean, yeah, it makes sense to get for battle priest because Demon's Bane makes sense for battle priest, right? So there's that. Completed heart piece. Let's go turn that in. Boosting more agility for the time being. We're probably not going to really need all that much, but. Here we are. It's okay. I guess we are going to make some extra pocket change here, so that's fine. That'll help us out for when we go back to Dark Priest. Let's go back to Harpy once again. I'm still kind of bummed out that they changed the bounty boards for Harpy to be up to 90, not, uh, not to 99 anymore. It was really useful. I used for I mean it was really really good surprise the booster event still continues but they're dropping the exp down also Rusebeck how do you feel about the fact that I, I was not called about the uh illusion of teddy bear captain Sunbear, illusion of teddy bear I mean, come on, it only, it only makes sense. Uh, no, no, it's, it's not that. I start I did start early. I did start that early. Solo leveling a bard. You know what? Honestly, I'm gonna tell you the exact same thing I'm gonna tell you. Musical strike, evil druids, bounty boards, rates. It's like the easy, the easy stuff. Single targets, perfect for you. Maybe we're gonna say arrow shower, but I mean you need a weapon for that. If you don't have any weapons or anything, if you don't have a crimson bow with the arrow shower cards, then you might want to be doing that. Is, do you have any um, bow guardian cards by any chance? Just uh, thought I would ask. Because I think people do the whole crimson bow with the um, what is that thing called? 
with the bold guardian cards for the error shower which is really good by the way but if you don't have that then just you know single target booster on out account okay musical strike level 58 you go to the uh, geographers level 71 you start doing the wraith uh evil druid quest that i do the one that's over here in the in the board go back to geffen if you have a warper to take it to glass time use that to travel back and forth in between it'll be the easter exp that you can get make a uh, make a make a bowling bash night and leech yourself to 99 well wow, there's that could work it could work actually but uh, but then again again everyone plays the game differently everyone has different ways to level up everyone does things their own way and there's so many recommendations you can give somebody so So what we do you're gonna leash yourself to 99 yeah 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 no that's that's what i'm saying like there's different ways to go about it people play the game their own way and we can give so many recommendations and there'll be so many things people can do now the question is does bruce Rick want to do that bruce Rick, you want to level up a uh bowling bash to reunite on an alt account and just bowling bash to bowling bash leech which honestly does sound like it would really really work out very well it's just it just does honestly just does really does night is just my clown is his own man all right your clown is your own man then i will do the thing i mentioned with the evil druids and uh that quest stuff I do that I make a priest yeah <gasps> free loot gotta get something before it expires five six seven eight nine ten eleven the last feather oh got the, all the feathers very nice But yeah, I really think you might ought to uh, do the uh, Dark Priest, Evil, Dark Priest uh, Evil Druid and Wraith Bounty Board. I don't know if you can two-shot the Dark Priest with the Bard and Dancer abilities. Yeah, I probably would. Because again, single target doesn't move. It's just there. And many of the blossoms. You can probably buy yourself some SP syrups if you need any in the long run. I don't know. I think musical strike is very cheap in terms of SP. So I don't think you're going to be struggling that much. But then again, it's the easier target. Since you're ranged, you don't have to deal with the bleeding up front. Okay, that's kind of cool. And let me get that real quick. Katya Terremoto, thanks for the follow. Hope you join the stream. Yeah, you can do that at level 68 to not suffer from the EXU penalty. Yeah, and the cooldown is very low, right? Mm. Harpy is not a bad choice. I think it's pretty legit. Harpy is always legit if you can handle it.
plus we get access to the elemental arrow so you know it's actually much easier now than ever before to level up at heartbeats with the performer backslide and meter salt works really really well perfect the only reason why i like and i i know i know just just hear me out hear me out try both methods try both methods but the only thing i'm getting at is the only reason why i like um the evil druid and wraith uh, thing is because you get a full level from turning that in from killing you kill 20 monsters and you pretty much get a level and, and then half level and some extras but it depends on Ooh. i'm out of uh okay cool And then there's less travel if you go to harpies there's less travel between evil druids and wraiths for me it's just the oh you get a full level here cool that's all it really is four percent not bad buy more green potions you just just empty just empty just empty out the stuff put it on in storage just bring your arrows with you open one box at a time you can pick up stuff. No, no, you can pick up stuff. You can just mail it to yourself if need be. Just don't keep all the booster stuff on you. You don't have to keep everything on you. Oh, and the cool thing about being a uh, booster uh, assassin is you can make your you can reset your stats. Let's see if I can survive this. Okay, cool. So you can reset your stats and you can brew poison bottles for yourself instead of having to buy them from the market. If you can, you know, it's probably a lot lot cheaper to just buy the materials. So you can probably get away with that you know it's pretty good i think it's pretty good back to the eating group we're gonna heal up I'm surprised that Illusion of Teddy Bear came before our Illusion of Luanda. <clears throat> the time to farm the materials versus farm. Oh, no, no, Kurgus, Kurgus, Kurgus. You don't farm the materials. You set up a buy shop. It's cheaper. You don't have to do anything. Just set up the buy shop. People will bring you the items. You can just do your own thing. Right? I'm messing this one up. I've seen people set up buy shops for the um, that one thing, which I'm gonna call it. Bro, people, people sell the materials. They don't farm it because they farm it. They farm it because there's somebody buying those items and they just drop them off. Maybe, maybe even newbie players just come in and they buy it. Maybe somebody levels up at Hornets. They drop off the items. They get venomous canines. Okay. 
you have the option to brew if possible you don't have to just buy them all the time if you want to make them you can make them people will sell you that stuff i mean i don't know people pay like 500 zenny and maybe 10k zenny for car with or something so you know you pay like half price and you get a poison bottle for cheaper how much are poison bottles these days in the market how much are people selling them for like what 60,000 oof yeah i mean i wouldn't pay that much unless i was unless i didn't care and i was rich probably yeah but but that's the other side of it think about it if people pay that much zenny for those poison bottles and you have a buy shop paying one sixth of the price of those materials if people farm it and they sell it to you you make zenny out of that easy zenny the long con i'm not con but you know it's the it's long term it's long term but not that long term but you know what i mean it's just you're not gonna actively farm it you're gonna have a buy shop and if people sell it to you good if they don't oh well you know just keep waiting on it but you know it makes people say hey there's a buy shop buying this stuff maybe i can go level here instead you know and sometimes people decide they're leveling based on their uh you know uh financial need i remember when i did a series leveling up at places that dropped any items it went okay i used the crusader to do that and it went so so i think i used crusader i can't remember but long story short uh eh, you can really farm a lot of things if the market asks for it and you can level there kind of you know they go hand in hand I could do it with another cup of coffee right now. Maybe, maybe in 30 minutes, I'll start bringing another one. We gotta, we gotta beat the, we gotta beat the maintenance. Maybe we can do an, an extra run after this one. I fly winged. I thought I could, uh, teleport to the bottom of the <laughs> of the town but i guess not all right all right oh man we are up early let's see what is going on here gotta get a usb portables coffee maker no but then i'm not gonna i'm not gonna put all the coffee stuff in the water here i still have to go get the water you know Another mob here. Look at that. Another mob for me to screw up. lovely day i normally don't do these kinds of streams 
just because the exp event is ending if the exp event wasn't ending i wouldn't be you know i wouldn't be up right now but since it is ending gotta get to it unfortunately Oh, 20 SP, that's cool. All right. Yeah, EXP event will end after maintenance. Wait a second, it's not 26 SP. That's a lie. Oh, sorry, 20 SP. Whoops, I can't read. But it's cool, it's cool. I'm about to level up anyways. I need my glasses. I don't really need them, but yeah. All right, so. Here we go. One more meteor salt, no matter the size of the mob. I should get the level. Hold on a second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a second. What do you mean I couldn't cast it? It's not, it's not 28 SP. What a lie. It is 40 SP. Wow, they haven't even updated the skill description. Meteor assaults. It's it is 40. I don't know why I was reading the description. Oh, it's 28. Ah, oh, I thought it was 40. Even yesterday I talked about how it was uh 40 SP. into them like why is it not 40 sp why is, why is that 28 it's kind of funny ah right, let's just kill it we're gonna finish the harpies anyways yeah the description is ultra outdated i know man that's pretty sad is that state of affairs mm -mm. oh yeah yeah that is outdated Very, very sad. All right, we can do this one more time. And then we're gonna be going back to Dark Priest. Yeah, I, I'm i surprised there was no like, hey, you wanna do the, uh, some, oh yeah, Illusion of Bear, look at that. It's totally on brand. Illusion of, Illusion of Teddy Bear would have been really on brand with Sun Bear. Yo haciendo mi ilusiones. Hey, Warwitch, how you doing? Still haven't gotten your shadow chaser back? Oh, 
probably stuck. Hey, by the way, I'm glad you guys are watching the stream right now. I know it started really early today, but it's kind of nice to see, you know, people show up and whatnot. So really appreciate that. Again, I know it's not my usual schedule, but maintenance EXP event ending. <sighs> Gotta take advantage of that stuff, so... Yep. Let me sleep. No. Quédate. La hora del oso. That book is gonna die. Yep. Yeah. We have an EXP event. The EXP 275% is gonna drop down. Early Rooster 10. Well, they did announce the... the when the EXP event would end, it's supposed to be after the maintenance of the 7th all the way until the October 5th. Which, by the way, we had so much time to level up. I really should have finished my Dragon Birth Three Nights. Te duele el estómago? Oh, no, no, no. I said try not to die. Dije... I said try not to die. Que no, no te mueras porque tenía los, los heartbeats encima. Y casi me moría pues porque no, no me podía hacer backstab fuera de la pared. Pero es horrible 240 plus ya ya sé por eso yo no me meto con 240 más para arriba ah oh, it's okay I'm just saying as a joke because uh, we've been doing Dark Priest on almost every character because it's probably one of the better EXPs after level 90. Plus, I've been on every day, so you would probably see me a Dark Priest and Evil Druids, anyways. No, no, never. Oh my god. All characters. I mean, if you have the gear for it. Sorry, sorry. Let me correct it. If you're leveling up a booster character from nothing. This is the best leveling spot. There. Everything is adapted for the people who may have difficulties leveling or doing one thing or another. Did I did I not kill up at the eating group? Did I, hit, did I select the wrong option? I think I didn't kill up. Did I? Oh, I screwed that one up. Damn it, I'm screwing this one up. Uh, I need Paladin to be nicely geared. Okay. Where are your alts? All right, we're out of green potions, so we're going to be going back anyways. Oh, good question. Wait, can, can they even use the metal bow? Warwick says it doesn't. I think Warwick tested it.
Oh, we gotta go to the eating group and heal up. Delroy fan club. Look at that. Get on with it. Yeah, we're going to try and see what it looks like. Let me just finish the bounty board first. Because I'm not going to one shot them. I don't think I'm going to one shot them in the first place. How are we looking at the uh, magma dungeon level two with this? What's uh, are we doing just like ma uh, meter salt and teleport here, or you need holy? Okay, well, I need holy, I don't have access to holy. Oh, at least that person teleported away. Oh, pearl, very nice. Backs into a wall. on me i hit the ground button there but yeah i'm gonna die if i stay there but uh We'll give it a try. We'll see what it looks like. And then Benny Borden. Ooh, after. have enough sp for that all right let's go back turn this in we're gonna go take a look at what magma dungeon looks like so according to our sources here if you have let's go ahead and buy some syrups here because we're gonna need them 
before we pick up the poison engine helps a bit uh let me just make sure if fine right uh what is that thing called again laser they live in like a dungeon level two i am with the uh elemental table dark level two and level three so dark level two and level three is the nightmare terrorist level three let's see fire and dark or with shadow so fire the other prop other properties versus fire other elements versus fire property poison increases damage versus fire yep however poison uh well level two and level three take less damage from the uh, nightmares um sorry nightmares take less damage from the uh poison enchant but fire monsters take 125 which is 0.25 which is you know one fourth uh damage more so but if you if you hit the horses with the poison enchants you're not gonna hit them low ti glitching out Ooh, i would not want to go into low ti then problem is i think i need to redo the stats just to take a look at this i would have to redo uh do away with intelligence 364 hits they have a pretty high hit requirement but i'm pretty sure we can make that with the miracle elixir so it's worth a try that has been a while since i played irl well we still have the push event going on the XP rates will probably be uh, set at 200, so... 200%, of course. Uh, let's go and... Let's go reset real quick. Well, the problem is the monsters require hit is 366, 376, 384, 360, 370, 360. And we're still very, we're a little bit off on that. Well, we're going to go in with that and we're going to see how it goes. Uh, let's go in with the, how much vitality should we put in? Slash vitality plus uh, 69. Slash strength plus 69. bit of that I'm gonna go see what it looks like here all right we're gonna take a little trip we're gonna go just we're gonna see what it's like that's all I am still goes in the billions well no it's still in the billions the really expensive stuff a lot of stuff is still in the hundreds of millions but you really don't need a whole lot of equipment to be honest with you I leveled up characters free to play style I even have dropped an MVP card going free to play style uh geneticist of course but of course i'm playing to my advantage wow sad not a good teleport all right so what do we do with the stats more vitality more strength Uh, if you're watching the vod by the way this is just a test it's not the place i actually wanted to go back to um dark priest but it's worth 
mentioning we're doing this with just the basic metal weapon stuff so the basic booster stuff so if you have more equipment good on you you might do really well with a fan with uh, aspersio and i think solar sword and another offhand weapon i mean another uh main hand weapon might be good for you to uh, do a lot of damage here so uh keep that in mind that there's more than one way to play the character we're doing this with just the basic booster stuff so there's no excuse so if anyone makes a booster character we don't have to deal with any excuses whatsoever oh that's a big mob but we're only gonna be here once anyway so what type you're playing so right now uh so right now we have the booster event going on which basically is when you make a character you get a box and you can open up every 15 levels and it starts you out with some basic equipment and potions and you just keep leveling up you get more potions you get job change tickets so you don't have to do the job changes during this event show this preferred yeah show this preferred so i guess uh yeah so back to the thing and basically what i'm doing is i'm leveling up characters on stream to show people that you can level up any character with just the booster events because a lot of people are coming back they're starting to play again or they want to try out new characters and they don't know how to go about leveling but leveling is very straightforward it's very simple it's just very few places you have to go to to just really level doesn't mean you can't go and explore the game i'm just saying that you can have a better time just uh you know not having to worry about other equipment when you have sufficient damage as it is so you did it with eden three dagger so you got eden three dagger and a shield you say wow that's actually not bad so you will use a anti-demon shield for this place if i'm not mistaken it doesn't damage i don't think i can kill the things with that so let's just try it out real quick let's see how well we do with this you probably could kill stuff you are gonna get first however all right okay so let's try this out real quick if this doesn't work, we're still going to go back to Dark Priest anyway. So this is just a test. So let's see. What are we looking at? Well, you are still going to miss. Because you are lacking hits in some cases. You can kill the... Hmm. Still lacking. So this is the way you're going to go about it. Oh, I don't have my I don't have my red boosters on me. Yeah. Okay, well that sucks. You're gonna have enough hit. So you're gonna just meter salt and teleport. Meter salt and teleport. You're very close to killing the ponies too, so. And if I'm not mistaken, there's a fixed casting portion to this. So this is good to go. Macro players. Yeah, I mean, I'm still leveling there. If I'm not mistaken, there is a fixed casting portion to this ability. So just be aware. Fixed cast time. And this is good to go. So the reason why we can pull this off, the like three second grace period, they don't attack you the moment you go. And by the time you start casting, they react. You can actually hit them and kill them. So, here you go. Preferably, if you can still one-shot them. Uh, Holy Sword. Holy Sword. Um, uh, what is that thing called again? solar sword there we go solar sword it's a very good uh very good option and what's cool is that if you happen to just have the damage in any way shape or form maybe 90 strength 70 dexterity you don't have to worry too much about getting hit because we're going to teleport after we use meteor salt we're not going to be making a whole lot of zany, but we are going to be getting our levels a bit faster than usual, thankfully. If for whatever reason you cannot handle it, you can always go back to Dark Priest. Just saying, in case you can't handle it for whatever reason. But you should be able to handle it. I don't see why not. Now, if I can just land over there, that would be nice. 
remember you're not getting full exp from the horses just yet so if you don't kill the nightmare terrors it's okay Ice pick is one shot too. Mm. Very nice. So I guess ice pick, based on what we're told from Silent Rooster, you can use an ice pick and you get your one shot. You can always equip a shield with anti demon because the nightmare terrorists are your main concern here. They do the most damage. So. Well, cool. Today's maintenance day, just so you know. Oh, I was right there. Just a heads up. Today's maintenance day, so the server's going to be going down in maybe it's 8 o'clock or five, 5 hours. So just be, be aware of that. Maintenance does still take that long as always, so... As they've always taken for whatever reason, so yeah. Yep, now let's go ahead and enjoy some leveling. Oh yeah, no, this is this is certainly doable. And if you get hit, it's okay. You remember you have your life portions. And don't forget that you also have another portion that you can use. Because I think we have a fixed casting portion to the uh, meter salt. So your meter salt will go up just a little bit in terms of speed. before they see you so I think that macro uh breed smith didn't uh pick up the loot but that's quite a bit of uh of a macro stuff the report goes a long way I guess That is kind of insane, actually. Are they all in the same party too, though? That's the other thing I'm curious about. They have different party names too. Probably not the same person, but that is crazy. But oh well, I can still level. Wait, three of them are in the same party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three of them are in the same party. That's insane. Okay. Now that is the report. I feel like this person is really just managing this stuff because once you get 95 items in your inventory, you cannot use greed anymore. So they have to, 
they have to there's no way they're not uh there's no way they're not aware of the uh, change to greed there we go i got the one shot with blessing so let's just uh take advantage of that oh almost one shot damage variants but all good dead Perfect. So this one is booster approved. Assassin Cross and Rune Knight. Well, I'm sorry, not Rune Knight. Lord Knight. Lord Knight and Assassin Cross take the um, We Can Handle This Dungeon uh, Award. Non AoE strong players or well, non, non strong AoE classes need not apply. Lord Knight and Assassin Cross still remaining at the top of the food chain. Incredible. The downside, however. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. The downside, however. Ooh. That's a lot of mechanics. Yeah, it's a lot of mechanics, a lot of uh, auto uh, teleporting. If you're starting off brand new, I mean, if you have the equipment for a Dragon Breath, personally, but I mean, that's just me personally because I like Dragon Breath. I'm biased towards Dragon Breath. It's a really good skill. Um, No fan required. As president of the No Fan Club, it's all doable. All you gotta do is teleport in, meet yourself. Teleport in, meet yourself. You literally wait 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 you literally at f4 game why just because it's people doing the mechanic stuff i mean you can kill stuff with the bowling bash as well oh that was dangerous So without blessing we don't get the one shot and that's fine you can always backslide afterwards there 
solved yeah i mean i see the uh, i see the mechanics but still like you know oh careful now careful now yeah if you don't get the uh if you don't get the meter salt within the one side of port don't worry about it just teleport out it's okay be just fine it's crazy no fin required Ooh, that would have killed me if i stayed a second longer And even if you don't kill a mob and someone else kills them, you still get the full EXP for it. You st not the board counts for your memory. You just get the uh, EXP because you did a lot of damage. So, oh yeah. So the reason why those there are dead is because they reach the max weak capacity. So they can't teleport. So when they uh, teleport in and they try to use the skill, they use greed, but nothing happens. But the three second grace period breaks and they start getting attacked by monsters so they don't use their uh, action leader right away yeah i saw i saw teleport out because you know you're not gonna make it you don't make it and it's perfectly fine uh yeah fan is free yeah we know fan is free but people are gonna be like oh i can't do it because i didn't get fan i get it. i keep getting interrupted a lot of people always go on that about that and we're trying to avoid that situation that's exactly what it's all about avoiding situations where people say they can't level up which again is all we're interested in no BS approach leveling. You can level up, certainly. No problem. No fan, no problem. That would probably be the name of the new series. No fan, no problem. Ooh, that, was, that got kind of dangerous. And here's the cool part even if i don't one shot the horses i'm still gonna get the exp when the uh macro mechanics stop by or maybe i'll land by again and i'll get to kill him again and that's the beauty no it's not that they'll avoid the situation Is that they'll sometimes be like, oh, I don't have the Zenny for the uh, reset stones, or oh, do I buy it from the cash shop? Because you know that it's an item, it's usually, it's mostly seen in the cash shop, right? So people start thinking it's probably that, or they probably think they need VIP. Say, oh, I don't have VIP, and it's like, whoa, you don't need VIP actually. It's, uh, it's another thing you need, but yeah. I will cover the, uh, the Overlook Water Dungeon, though. Don't get me wrong, I will cover that. I think maybe I was thinking maybe ooh look at this map look at this mob right here that's a bit of a large mob too much that's too much I think even if I was able to hit it with meter salt I think I would still die from the sheer amount of uh hits that they deal unless you teleport right away but if your ping is high and you can't just uh you know hit the hit another dead uh, mechanic if you can't hit teleport right away because you know for whatever reason you have a higher ping it's fine it's fine no problem 
You can always go back to Dark Priest. But if you can handle it, by all means. You still don't want to, you know, over mob because if you over mob, you're very likely to die. You're still going to hit. If you can't teleport on time, you will get, you will take all those hits. So super, super uh, important thing to consider. All right. All right. So teleport and that's it. All you got to do is just teleport. Find a nice spot. Teleport. Remember. You can buy these wings for 10 zen each. You can teleport as much as you want. Hey, where did all the macro uh, things go? Where did all the macro uh, levelers go? I'll pick up loot while I'm at it. Next stream tomorrow. Next stream tomorrow, yeah. Um, hmm. So not sure what I'm gonna do tomorrow though. Why am I doing hiding? I should probably be there we go. So where did the where did the um, macro uh, mechanics go? Remember the macro mechanics? They're gone. They're not here anymore. You look at that. Here today, gone tomorrow. Once they hit 200, nah, you just run instances, man. Instances, cards, all that good stuff. There's nothing that I haven't done on stream that you guys should not be doing. Everything I do, you probably should do too. Not bad. It's convenient. I mean, I already... Okay, so the free-to-play to free-to-win free mechanic was exactly about that. That was what the series was about. It was about showing how you can make Zenny as you level up. I bought catch up equipment on that character. I was able to afford it. You know why? So I leveled up as I was farming. I should probably hit the meteor assault first. Okay. There we go. It's so cool. You can just uh, land anywhere, land in the middle of a mob, and just meteor assault. And if anything, you can just backslide and do it again. This is insane. Insane. Yeah, insane. Insane. This is insane. It's just very straightforward. Teleport, teleport, teleport. The beginner fly wings, the syrups, have really made this a lot easier. In fact, if you can go 95 strength, you might be able to one shot with that. Even if you can't one shot because you don't have the session off boots and the almighty, it's fine because it's going to take you to uh, two meter salts anyway. If you take two meter salts, it's fine. It's, it beats leveling a dark priest by a long shot. High mob density, all the other monsters will be relevant to your leveling. And if you're not me, because if you're not me, you're in a better position, you can get a better weapon. You can get a shield if you have to. You can get a fan card if you want to. All I know is that if you want to level up an assassin cross, you can make do without all that stuff. You can dance if you want to, of course. That's perfectly fine. As long as you're aware of what you're doing and why you're doing it, that's what matters. Today's leg day. Do you ever skip leg day? No, I don't skip leg day. Yeah, you still get the one shot on 95 strength. That's cool. Not on the Nightmare Terrors, though. Just so you guys see Nightmare Terror, uh, how much damage they take. Take 10,000 damage, so, you know. Oh, we can almost get that one shot. All right, so we're going to be using the other one. Oh, very nice one shot. Oh, no, we still off by a little bit of damage. So that in energy crystal synthesis buff doesn't help you get the one shot, and that's fine.
Oh yeah, super important detail. Uh, keep in mind, once you hit level 99, you cannot, you cannot use the beginner fly wings. Which means you either have to use your five Eden Merit badges that you, the Eden Merit badges are required. You're saving them. Because once you hit 9970, you can no longer use your, you know, beginner flywing. So what you do instead is you get the beast above flywing, it'll last you for a week and you keep doing bounty boards. You know, just keep leveling just like that. Bounty boards, bounty boards, bounty boards, level just like that. And that's all you'll do. Remember, if you cannot handle Magma Dungeon for whatever reason, you can always go back to Dark Priest. It's an okay map if you have high ping and you can't handle the high mob density, or you can't teleport away on time, that's perfectly fine. You do have options. You do have options. If you can handle this, do it. No fin required. You really don't need a fin. At level 96, you have more consistent one shots. Except on the super large uh, Nightmare Terror, but that's fine. There we go. More consistency in your killing. 96 with 97 strength is the sweet spot. All right, we're going to go back. We're going to turn this quest in. There you go. Yeah, one shot. Absolutely wonderful. Now, here's where things are going to change a little bit. We are going to use a battle manual buff. The one that we have left. Why? Because we have... Um, how would you say it? We have the ease of access for that. So we're going to just go there. We're going to rush the levels. And we're going to pick up a visa boat wing once we get back to uh, level uh, 99. So but let's do this. Let's speed it up. Well, I didn't level up. Well, that's a shame. Nah, bro, somebody... Okay, it's not... I think a lot of people just focus too much on just the refining stuff. But I read a lot of comments on the uh, discords that people are saying, Oh, the upgrade event. I got to go back to the center over there. Oh, what was it? It was right here, right? It's probably gone by now. That's that bollock card. Never mind. Don't worry, it'll be there for a while. I was gonna pick it up. It's it's that bollock. It's not really that great of a card, guys. Come on. If it was Earthy Leader, then yeah, you know. Don't worry, it's gone. It's okay, it's gone. Don't worry, that bottle card was never gonna be used anyways. Now, if it was Earth Leader, that card would go to somebody. Oh yeah, and if you're watching the VOD and all that stuff, you know the best part about this map is if you get an Earth Leader card, you save a lot of SP 
you still have a lot of zenny on the sp syrups because now you got access to getting 10 sp every time you kill a monster and you're one-shotting all of these things so yeah you're getting sp back every single time I wish to make game like RO in the future. So why not RO? We have RO now. RO is in the presence. Zenic is kind of sure we have R at home. Oh man, they beat me to it. Oh well, you can't win them all. Especially because it wasn't mine, so that's why I'm not like upset about it. If you have the space to do so, pick up items, sell them, buy more syrups. It's in your best interest to do so. Oh crap, I left that there. Well, if I don't get it, I don't get it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it, alright. Oh, got it. Alright. Just agree to draw the aggro to them, so that makes sense. There was space pick up items. Yeah, it's a lot of mechanics to that tornado. Ninety-four thousand damage for that uh, GI struck and kill. The other issue is that some of them use Calvin of on blood, so they're probably not gonna die from uh from the mobs if they miss their uh their thing. And they're often the same party too. It's 
very interesting because uh, three of them are in the same party. And they're just booster characters as well. What's kind of funny is that you know as long as you don't teleport around you can really pick up the names you're about to show up at any point where you stand insane is the amount of mobs that keep respawning from all of this is very consistent there is really high consistency in the amount of monsters that spawn from this right what is the best uh bgm uh antique cowboy is the best bgm it's the one that you hear in the uh juno fields that's the best one insane how many axe mechanics are going on here at the same time Oh, look, we're level 98 now. Decent answer. So what's yours? Not a good answer. It's a decent answer. Remiss, I have more time to be doing this, so Eighteen. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine if we lack job levels. We're still gonna be stacking the XP anyways. We're still gonna be able to, uh, you know, do a whole lot of damage with our character anyways. So, 
I think we're gonna go all the way through until the end of the maintenance until the maintenance begins so Four hours to go, that's right. Four hours to go. So we're still gonna get some guillotine cross action today. You guys are lucky that I woke up early. Cool. I'm lucky I woke up on time. Because now I get to do some guillotine cross gameplay. I mean, maybe I should just go level my rune knights, but at the same time, you know, I can level up anytime whenever. So Alright, so let's talk about tomorrow. So what do you want to see tomorrow? Should I just keep doing booster characters? I mean, we still have a few more to go that I think are worth mentioning. Maybe Sage? I mean, Sage should be on hard mode, though, because you're doing this without the, um... Without the extra 75% EXP. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that humanity. Oh, that humanity. Lacking that extra EXP. Oh, my God. The humanity. I died. That's fine. All right. Let's go back. Let's go get the last few kill counts and then return. But, yeah. All's good. All's good. Where wish you go? Yeah. I think I could do the eating group leveling quests. I don't think they're that hard to do, but. I don't know. I have my doubts. Oh, I just need the flying deleters. Hmm. By the way, there is a fixed casting time to uh, meteor assault. So when you use meteor salt and you have access to the event to the event the blue power booster it helps you cast a little bit faster but the other thing to it is a little bit of an extra attack that it gives you so the extra attack from the blue power booster is what's helping us do the one shot on the nightmare terror under booster conditions of course if you have a better weapon you can just go ahead and use that but what i'm getting at is don't die this is going really well for you right now because you're not dying you're doing a really good job You can also do the eating group leveling quest if you want to get yourself some extra job exp or you can just keep leveling here the choice is yours really yeah, maybe not the okay. we're gonna go to the eating group well wow. living with destiny we're gonna go to the eating group and we're gonna pick up a piece of boat wing because we're very likely to hit level 99 while we're there so let's talk about the Merry Badger real quick. The Merry Badger will exchange Eden Merit Badges. So these Eden Merit Badges for various goodies. You want to see what they do? Simple as Iron Wiki, Merry Badger. And you can see what you can get. My personal recommendation is the Rental Wing of Beezabob. It's basically an infinite fly wing. It weighs practically nothing. And you can spam it. Level one teleport, instant teleport. So when you turn 99 from 98 after you complete your, you know, your quest, then you can just go ahead and uh,
Oh yeah, I guess you're... We will have to be using the uh, beginner flywings 99 and we can still level up using the beast above flywing but keep in mind that you're also going to be level 100 because you're going to be banking on a lot of your face HP so by the time you hit job 70 congratulations you have it made now what's going to happen is you're going to be selecting a booster equipment and you're going to get a stronger Qatar and with all that extra equipment you're going to be able to one shot real good real easy all right we're very close to finishing up almost 99 the base the job level will be another story which is not very difficult to finish we're gonna probably just do either group leveling quest or you know just uh continue here either way we're still gonna be getting a lot of exp uh post 99 which we're gonna be banking up on and we're gonna benefit from this Now we're 99. Guess what? You gotta use your piece of a wing because the moment you hit 99, you can no longer use those beginner fly wings. You're no longer a beginner. You're now a pro. Congratulations, you have reached the ranks of professional. You're now 99. The rest of the job levels are up to you. Is Turtle Island DXP or if it's down? I don't know. And if it's down, then damn, that sucks. That was a huge mob over there. All right, we're now job 68. Oh, and by the way, no, that's, uh, that's crazy. So did you guys know that you actually get a battle menu when you hit, uh, oh, that's a big mob. When you hit job 70, you get a battle menu from the, uh, achievements. It's a regular battle manual, you know, it's not the uh, BMX3 and all that stuff, but uh, it's nice nonetheless. seconds left on the battle manual which is very unfortunate but i mean what can you do about it Just gotta make the best of what you got remember if you're not a booster you can always get a better weapon you can get a plus seven crimson dagger with uh sorry crimson dagger. you can get a plus in uh holy crimson qatar i have a bunch of crimson qatars you can just ask me i think i should have some i'm not sure Hard drop somewhere, but I didn't see where. Only guess it was top left. But I didn't drop anything, so maybe not me.
it's crazy because if you think about it this map is pretty competitive now at the very least it's fine because you know you're still making it happen you're still leveling up Do you think Magnus Exorcismus Priest can make it here without the, uh, I mean, with just Magnus Exorcismus? I think they're at the Greek capacity. I saw that uh, that mechanic used the uh, weapon perfection, but they didn't use actual NATO. They have to be at the limits in terms of carrying capacity for uh, greed. They're not okay. One of them didn't use actual NATO. One of them didn't. I'm very sure I saw that. Lazar card. Gotta take so much to land in one spot where there's monsters now. There you go. We eventually find a spot. I think it's cool they're adding dilution dungeons. I think there's more mechanics now. Now job 69.
Yeah, you eventually find a spot. Screw that mob up. No, my mob. Whatever. <clears throat> you win some, you lose some. Can't always take odd dubs. You gotta take some L sometimes. Firewall messed me up. You know, Gramps is one map that I can understand. But man, this one is just a little bit insane. So anyways, the other thing I'm doing is I'm, I'm also backing up on EXP. So when I change, uh, when I get to job 69, I'll be able to get level 100 right away. And then from there, I can showcase the booster equips and we can do some uh, Assassin Cross leveling. Sorry, not Assassin Cross, Skeleton Cross, Skeleton Cross.
I wonder how many computers they're running for this, you know? I'm thinking at least two com no, four computers. Maybe even three. Because I don't know if you're gonna be out in between all every single one setting stuff just like that. Probably could. So you can either choose to not complete the bounty board or complete it. I'm just gonna choose to complete it. I'm gonna bank on the extra base EXP just for the fun of it. Get to level 100 up right off the bat. Da -da -da -da. Congratulations, you're now 9970 and you now have a place to change jobs and become third class. Congratulations, you've done it. If you haven't done it, then well, you know, take a bit of time, but you'll get there. You'll get there, just give it some time. If you can't do magma dungeon you can always go back to dark priest you can always go do the eating group leveling quest 91 to 99 and that'll help you get your levels ready so with that said we're gonna be going over to frontera we're gonna talk to the manager we're gonna get our job change and we're gonna talk about the level 100 to uh you know, whatever else um equipment so point wise there's gonna be prerequisites for other skills you always want to get enchant deadly poison is going to be one of the better skills i'm not sure about the other stuff we're going to reset and just look at the pre uh, prerequisites or you can just look at the my uh, wiki uh skill simulator skill simulator and you can look at where are you at guillotine cross and you can get an idea for what you may or may not need Cross impact rolling cutter will need sonic low level 10. Weapon blocking, weapon venom pressure, poisonous smoke.
You can always grab left hand mastery five if you need any of that stuff. Uh, cloaking level three is enough. We can always see what you need on your characters because that's for weapon. The level five uh, hand mastery is for the weapon blocking. You need level one for venom pressure on weapon blocking. But then pushing this weapon is really what you use. If you want to just grab prerequisites, you can go ahead and do that. Otherwise, you know, you're pretty much okay not needing to do so. And you can do whatever you want with the points left over. Honestly, it's just really no real ground answer. Um, if you're going to use two hand two weapons for cross impact, you can always reset down the road. Otherwise, you're kind of okay where it's at. Honestly, there are different ways people go about getting their skills. So, you know, everything may vary. But for what it's worth, you know, you're perfectly fine where you're at. Just uh, put points wherever you want. Don't feel obligated to put points if you don't feel like it. You will need to put points anyways to, you know, <laughs> do your stuff anyways, but whatever. Um, just put points wherever. It's okay. There's no, there's no wrong answer here. All right. Unless, unless there is a wrong answer though. If you're using enforcer boots, if you, for whatever reason, you get cash gear and you want to get enforcer shoes, uh, enforcer shoes actually dictate. This is one of those um, situations where uh, these skills um skill points are dictated by the cash gear if you don't have cash gear then you'd have to worry about it but if you were to get enforcer shoes your build would probably be based around the enforcer shoes uh skill requirements for the extra damage and skills and all the bonus stuff right so that said we are ahead of schedule so that's good prerequisites yeah 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 you're gonna have a third job change ticket on your inventory from the level 90 box here's my jobs and just like that for your guillotine cross perfect i think i think they work better as stickers i'm not sure about sizing or i don't know anything about emotes but i just wanted to put them in there because they're very cute so, all right. So now that we're done with that, uh, you have 637.1% EXP. Cool. So just go kill a pouring or something and come back. Oh, and now you're level 100 with 93%. Great. So now you got to get your skill points. So we're going to be going back to Magma Dungeon once again. Because it's the easiest leveling spot for us. 